What up, what up, what up? Hello, 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 hello. Howdy. Let's get my song going. Actually, let's play a... Let's play this. NVIDIA man, brands in Big Gay. We here for the chance gambits win games. It's that in friends. Lived lavish before the rap shit came or chat knew the name. Not regular hands, man, these is Franks. No time to sleep, all we things at stake. New height time on the clock to beat. We don't clock the feet. We don't clown around last place. Yeah. Why he's referred to the first letter. No one on earth who's insured better. Yo! Said it for sure with every endeavor. That burger big urges me to get cheddar. Something OG, on big a combo meal. Bro is going through some shit that is also real. After going through a shit for What's good? What's good? What's good? Cheers from Ecuador. What's up, man? Holy pulling up in the ghost. Holy pulling up with the ghost. My all new Ecuadorian fan base. I officially appoint you president of the Big A headquarters in Ecuador. All right, all Ecuadorian fans report to you. Can we do one band request? No. <laughs> Coming from a spot, you a big a hole. Never no. would have thought this is insane. Melee, go nope. on the sticks, you could be mango. Everyone that's banned should stay banned you know longer. Can't my rates. Um, um, in California, with some foreign state. state. Ah. If you ever catch me at a downtime, no, you ain't ready for a quarter rate. Okay. Bam, bam, bam. My family comes from Ecuador, but I live in Jersey. Does that count? If you ever go back to Ecuador, I have to report into that fan. Uh, how's everybody doing? What's good? What's going? What's popping? Bam, 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 bam. You know what? You know what? You know what? Money. Diesel. Thank you for the 15 yeah, months. Brillo uh, Pat. I, we got we got something big today. Get happiness. Big, <laughs> big game changer today. So true. Uh, I guess our advice to you is get more money. Get more money. Glizzy man, glizzy man, glizzy man, glizzy man, glizzy man, glizzy man, glizzy man. Put a hundred key subs on his name. Only drinking coke, not cocaine. Almost lost his mind to a Pepsi game. Still wearing lipstick from the last day. Gets a world record in the last frame. Glizzy man, glizzy man, glizzy man. Glizzy man, glizzy man, glizzy man, glizzy man, glizzy man, glizzy man, glizzy man. So I'm just closing tabs so I don't leak. Only drinking coke, not cocaine. Almost lost his mind to a Pepsi game. Still wearing lipstick from the last day. Gets a world record in the last frame. This is all leaks. His props paint more than your rent. His marketing tips are heaven sent. Yeah. Close all this. He still makes sure the doubters are getting bent. Patriotic on the enemy team. What, what a disaster. Take the competition and put him out to pasture. My boy could get want to call him a leech, but he was always on the come up. It just made it happen. Wow. Bro, what time? Why is my music always timed so well? My boy, who dat want to call him a leech, but he was always on the cut. And then I get a raid from who at the exact same time. Bro, that's crazy. I can't believe I staged that by planning it with Hudat to raid me at exactly two minutes into my stream. <laughs> Th uh, LSF, first top comment. Wow. It's obviously scripted. He obviously told Hudat ahead of time to count to two minutes and 38 seconds into the video and then raid. Uh... <laughs> And that's a full day. Don't you fucking say you missed the old day. You got a bit of money now, yeah. You don't say, but the motherfucker's been a crew since the stone age. I'm a YouTube frog who's been lurking. Learn about the aforementioned jerk in a Reboose! Big A, I DM'd you over Twitter back in December about writing some music for you. Are you still interested in that? I'm still interested in it. I'm still gonna be as unresponsive. <laughs> Look, man, I realized recently I have to really pare down the things I'm committing to so I get everything I need to get done, done. I would love to work with you on music. Uh, it's just going to have to be like a three-way combo with Quack because I, I just won't, I just can't, I just can't do it. I <laughs> Listen, I got, <laughs> uh, there's enough going on with, uh, with my real job, let alone the streaming, let alone the YouTube, let alone my fiance. <laughs> I got to prioritize. Uh, if you submit anything cool, uh, I will happily uh, pay for it. 
Uh, or Need for Easy. Uh, hey, Big A, sincere thanks for the content, man. It's pretty late when you stream, so I miss it. But I can't thank you enough because you helped me through so many of my worst days. Well, they were probably your worst days because you watched my content. <laughs> so it's really like I create the problem and then I solve it. You know, if you had just ignored my videos altogether, you probably would have had great days. You probably would have had great days. But anyway, I, I'm happy to help. Happy to help. <laughs> YouTube Frog, second time sub here. Keep up the content. Hey, you know what, YouTube Frog? For you, I will. For my dear YouTube frogs, I'll keep it up. Is it Hitman today? Oh, it's not just Hitman today. Don't say it like that. It's not, oh, it's Hitman today. Today is a brand new reveal of a world record strategy that I've been working on that will not only shift the paradigm, <laughs> topple the patriarchy <laughs> change everything about everything uh but it also is funny <laughs> most importantly it's funny it's funny to explain and which is why i'm excited for it i think it'll be a good video so i'm going to reveal that we're going to talk through that i'm gonna um do a bit, a bit of a hitman um hitman explained speedrun explained kind of thing and then after that there's a lot of things we can do one of them is sort of a get smarter Wednesdays. I gotta tell you guys, I am flying. So uh, uh, let me, I wanna say this has, um, I wanna focus this on me because uh, I don't wanna bring um, other people into this. How do I say this? Um, okay, I'll just say it like this. Some of you probably know this person, but recently a friend of mine, father died and they wrote something very uh, sweet and eloquent about it. And it made me um, want to call my family because I was feeling already bad because I hadn't been able to see them over the holidays due to COVID. And I called my family and I just told them how much uh, you know, it mean to me. And I told my dad uh, to read the thing that my friend had wrote and uh, he read it and we both, you know, sort of, saw the power of it and so I, I wanted to fly out and see them and I spoke to my boss and he was of course cool with it because I had missed the holiday and plus I've been working like crazy lately and so I'm taking Thursday Friday off of work and Monday and I'm flying out tomorrow and I'm going to just spend four or five days with my family and just hang out with them and have like a, a second like a new Christmas I'm bringing them some gifts we need to see our Christmas so we're going to do that. So that's that's what I'm doing. So I'm, I just, I don't know if I've already told you this, but I'm letting you guys know now that I will not be live likely Thursday through Sunday. Maybe if we want to do a fun thing with me and my mom and dad or something, maybe we'll do a short stream, possibly, but most likely no stream. So today I want to do a bunch of fun stuff. I probably will do the Reddit today. Um, I will probably do uh, some Get Smarter. We'll do a bunch of things. Mm. Hey, big A for my big one six. Can I have a birthday? You're 16. You want a happy birthday at your 16th birthday? Fine. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> grow up. <laughs> How about that? Happy birthday and grow up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Get a job. <laughs> no, happy birthday. I'm kidding. 16, huh? 16 in 2022. Your life's going to be interesting. So when you're 30, what year will it be? 14 years from now? It'll be 2036. <laughs> oh, shit. Wow. That's so interesting. 2036. Bro, you're going to be fucking plugged into an AI. What, what are you going to do? 2036? That, I'll, listen, I know every 10 years people are like, oh, in 10 years we're going to have flying cars and we're going to have, and it's almost always wrong. I got to feel like by 2036, we're going to have some shit. <laughs> 
I I I I struggle to think 2036 is going to be too similar to today. I mean, we'll <laughs> we'll have some cool new uh, COVID variants. <laughs> That'll be fun. Uh, Clint will have streamed once. <laughs> 2036. What a wild year to think about. Psychic will have uh, graduated middle school. Big deal for him. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. What age do you think your average viewers are? I think 18 to 24. YouTube's got the best analytics in the game. So my YouTube viewer base is in that range. 18 to 24. <clears throat> and generally, based on when I... I, I don't know. Because you know what? Here's the thing. Chatters are a small part of viewers. You know, in a stream where I have, let's say, 3,000, 4,000 viewers, um, only 1,000, 800 to 1,000 will actually chat. Most people don't actually chat. Most people are lurkers. And so, you know, you really only know from what chatters say. But in general, the vision I have of my audience is a lot of 18, 24-year-olds who are, don't know what the fuck they're doing with their life. <laughs> Some of them are in college and they hate it. Some of them are, are in, still in high school and they hate it. <laughs> Some of them just started a job and they hate it. <laughs> it's, like, it's like around that age, you know? And, uh, and you know, the world's a crazy place and, uh, they're all just trying to figure out what's going on with it. That's, that's in general. But again, that's a very general, that's a very generalized look because, um, there's a great book I read called how brands grow. It's the most non bullshit marketing book I've ever read in my life. It's like the most dry numbers based, like here's what actually works for brands. Uh, they, they like intentionally write it to be boring, <laughs> It's the, but it's the best book. I, I slogged through it, but it's the best book I ever read. And it talks about how like, um, it's very easy to see some small data points, like, like what I'm seeing here and, um, be too generalized. You know, it's like, even if that was over half, that still means they could be like up to 40% of my viewers are not that. And that's a lot of people. And so getting fixated on one, uh, customer profile is a sure way to box out a lot of potential customers anyway it's uh it's uh it's uh it's pretty interesting um you know one line i always remember from that book is is talking about how basically all loyalty programs are actually dog shit <laughs> they all they just don't work they basically are a way to just give your most loyal customer or actually just to give some customers free money <laughs> who already would have used you the people that use loyalty programs pretty much already all would have used you and the ones that don't don't give a shit like they don't they're not choosing based on loyalty programs so they're pretty useless and it said it was an example from like uh like <laughs> might have been Frito Lay Frito Lay was talking about maybe doing some sort of loyalty program and they were they were like looking at some customer profiles and they're like this person bought 20 bags of chips this month <laughs> they are clearly a die hard Lay's fan we should reward them. We want to emphasize our super fans. And that person was just having a Super Bowl party. <laughs> they just needed chips. They didn't give a shit. They, <laughs> they didn't care. They just went to the fucking grocery store. They, they're having a party and they bought 20 bags of chips for one big party. Oh, that's it. They're not a super fan. And it's the data like will totally lie to you and basically tell you uh, <laughs> that these people care about your brand more than they do just because they happen to buy it. It's mostly circumstances. Like, for example, some person might watch a ton of me. They might fucking binge me, watch all my videos, watch a ton of streams for like a three month period or whatever. And you might think, oh, was my content better in that period? And then they, they stopped watching for the next few months. And you could think, oh, is my content different in that period? Almost assuredly, it has more to do with their life. Maybe in that three months, they just had more free time or that's, that's what connected with them then. <laughs> and then in the next three months, they had more other things going on somewhere else and they got busy. It, the whole point is like, it's more about what's going on in their life and a lot less to do with what the brand or what the creator's doing. And so it's uh, it's just a better way to think about it. And I think uh, marketers can get their, in their own head and think they're more important than they are. Uh, I have to get some water in my Raytheon mug.
Ah, I love Raytheon. The military industrial complex is the best thing for the world. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Who got 12 month subs ignored back to back? <laughs> Bebron and Fleck Nation. Thank you for the one year. I was waiting for the triple threat so I could thank all three of you. But uh, I switched movie theater chains when AMC's loyalty program beat the shit out of Regals. All right. Hey, I'm not saying it never works. I'm just saying on average, it usually costs them more than it makes them. That's that's sort of what the. Uh... Hey, Shrek, you ignored my 19th month sub. <laughs> this is quack. <laughs> Quack, are we still doing this? Quack, I talk to you like every day. Do I need to fucking thank you for your sub? I pay you much more than the sub value back to you. <laughs> no, you don't pay me. I pay you. <laughs> you give me $4.99, $2.50. I'm charging an extra five this month. All right, well then I'll pay you your six. <laughs> All right, we'll, we'll make it total six this month. Uh, okay. Anyway, hello, 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 hello. I am wearing this shirt that I think was sent to me um, in my P.O. box that says Glizzy Man, Big A Gent 47. <laughs> yeah. This, I mean, this might be a work fit. This might be a wedding fit. Uh... I wish I'd, I'd, I've had it, I've had it sitting around for too long. I, I, sorry, whoever sent it, let me know. I forgot. Um, uh, <laughs> but uh, I'm wearing it for a reason. I'm wearing it for a reason because today we're going to be breaking a world record and we're going to be explaining it while we do it. Uh, so let me get everything set up for that. And while we do that, maybe we'll listen to little fucking tunes. Try to beat me, but that shit ain't working Cause it's always dripping drown and it's fucking surfing Glizzy man, glizzy man, glizzy man, glizzy man, glizzy man, glizzy man, glizzy man Still put a hundred subs on his name Heard a few rumors about cocaine Almost lost his mind to a Pepsi game Still wearing lipstick from the last game Gets a world record in the last frame Glizzy gang, glizzy gang, glizzy gang Fuck another course, I'm going in with the verse If he's on stream, then you'll probably see a world first mm -hmm. If you're dumb enough to try and compete Then the only way you leave is in the back of a hearse Think of it first, speaking of worse Where the fuck a ludden slime at? Mm -hmm. I don't drink lean, I'm chugging dime tap Grats on the ring, and for you chat I want to ask you where your fucking fuck prom's at Hey, can I visit your house? And the friend says, which house? <laughs> <laughs> you're fucking broke You don't have two houses? Why do you have friends? <laughs> well said, Ludwig. Well said. All right. A T R I O C. <laughs> I just found you on YouTube from Hitman and I watched every video. I will now be a Twitch Andy. Bro, the fact that people like you exist is the reason I'm going to do this video. Because I didn't want to do another Hitman video. But then I realized that there's actually people that just watch the hitman stuff and then watch the other stuff i didn't think that pipeline existed but it's actually there's a lot of it so um there's no reason not to and also this one i'm particularly proud of today's video i'm gonna be particularly proud of because i i i um i think it's clever i think it's a clever strategy um so that's what we're gonna do <laughs> I need, does it involve baked goods? No, it doesn't. It does not. Well, <laughs> uh, we'll see. Well, I'll explain. I don't want to reveal anything. I thought you were taking a break from Hitman. I did. It took like a five month break. I thought you were taking a long break from Hitman. It's been five months. <laughs> Speed tray. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. And they released a new patch. <clears throat> Does it involve a European capital? No. No, 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 no. Today's world record will be set 
in South America. But I need I need to set up a little bit more. Sorry, I'm gonna let's let's. Is there like uh, <laughs> what can we put on fucking daycare? <laughs> what's uh what's a good video I could put on? Give a second. I just while I uh while I fucking um. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> donkey's cod trailer yeah is there a donkey video we can put on i'll put on a donkey video <laughs> here i am with legend of zelda i'm gonna watch dude i've watched like every donkey video uh how about donkey video from four years ago called game critics Game critics fucking suck, right, guys? Yeah, 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 yeah. See, YouTube comments agrees with me, and we already know that YouTube comments is the premier location for. So true. Finally, another YouTuber agrees with me. Every YouTube commenter is correct. They don't just spout meaningless bullshit. They put valuable, honest opinions. From respected sources that you can trust. I've never read a YouTube comment that I didn't think, my God, is that a scholar? Is that is that Einstein reincarnated? How how is every single comment so witty, insightful, passionate, inspiring? I, I, <laughs> thank you, Donkey, for for agreeing with what I felt in my heart. Intellectual gaming critiques harboring only the most cutting edge scholars, such as middle schooler. <laughs> <laughs> gaming critiques harbor if league of legends suck dick then you're gay <laughs> you know i wonder is that actually wise <laughs> only the most cutting edge scholars such as middle schooler connor but what separates this guy from this guy well, this guy gets paid to say stupid shit. The first issue I have with gaming outlets is how their opinions are so decentralized. When you have multiple writers working on a website, you can lose track of who's actually talking. Breathe easy, Sonic fans. Sega got this one right. Sonic the Hedgehog 4, I think it was pretty yeah. mediocre. Sonic is good again. Sonic was never good. Numerous <laughs> fun titles. Sonic yes. was never good. The levels are great. There are no good Sonic the Hedgehog yeah. games. Super true. Damn. No good Sonic games? That's... That's a take. That's a crazy take. None? There, Sonic Adventure 2 Battle alone shits on that theory all over it. That's crazy. That's an insane take. There's super detailed backgrounds and excellent animations. There are no good Sonic the Hedgehog games fantastic level design sonic is awesome right yeah just this year alone kaijian <laughs> has featured over 37 different reviewers Boy, when you see a video from pro jared or total minutes, biscuit or angry joe you know exactly out. whose point of view it's coming from now pick a review from ign you've just entered the fucking lottery it's important True. to build an understanding between the critic and the viewer. Every review you do should feel like an extension of the last until your audience understands what kind of games you're actually true actually true actually based respond to it's also important to acknowledge your shortcomings as a reviewer mine personally is that i have no fucking patience at all pretty much throw any rpg at me i'm just gonna say nah that's that's boring but you know what's dumber than rpgs anime unless we're talking this guy you need to get this bullshit out of my face but you know what i hate much much more than anime turn-based combat for real i despise this shit there's like two games that figured out how to make it fun, but those don't count. Turn-based combat is fucking boring, <laughs> tedious, and draining. It is the opposite. It's funny because I kind of like it, but I never play it on stream. It is boring on stream. Paper Mario I love. First one. Not the new one. First one. And I mean, I love like Shardbound, Magic, anything competitive turn-based I love. Um, I don't know what the last single-player turn-based game I played, though. That That's... Chess? <laughs> That's not single player. Fuck. <laughs> That's famously multiplayer. Uh. <laughs> oh, Pokemon. Yeah, Pokemon. 
opposite of fun. So when I say Persona 5, a turn-based anime RPG is actually pretty fun, you should go, damn. Okay, maybe that game is alright. Probably one of the dumbest, most frequent comments I see is, Yeah, I stopped listening to this guy after he said, Bubsy 3D sucked. Listen, fucko, you don't have to see eye to eye on every single game to put your trust in You do. You do in my chat. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yep. You have to agree with me on every single possible opinion on every game. Kind of required. We actually do a test at the door. <laughs> Dark Souls Madge. <laughs> Dark Souls Blurry Madge, Sekiro Pog, Hollow Knight Pog, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Matrix 4 Madge, <laughs> yeah, you, you get it, Hetman Pog, League of Legends Mixed Reviews, <laughs> Conflicted, obviously. there should be an emote that's like, I'm conflicted, I feel like every emote is like happy or sad or disgusted, is there an emote that's like, I guess Monka, hmm. I guess, hmm, yeah, hmm. A critic's power lies in the consistency of their voice, but when you're consistently wrong... This is one of the least exciting platformers I've played in some time. This is a Call of Duty game, refreshingly original. Call of Duty, Call of Duty. Call of Duty. That is when you become Harmon. <laughs> it is crazy to give <laughs> 8.5 plus to COD every year. White. This dude is the ultimate contrarian. Both of his parents were white. His name is Armand White. So he said, nah, fuck you, I'm black. According to Armand White, everything that is good is bad and everything that is bad is good. Does this make him useless as a critic? Not at all. When Armand White tells you that Man of Steel is the godfather of superhero films and calls it his movie of the year, then you as a viewer understand. Okay, so this is the worst movie yet created. Some films transcend even Armand White though. And then you have a movie like Suicide Squad that is just such a piece of fucking shit. Even yeah. this guy who likes fucking video game movies. When even he doesn't like it, that's when you have fucked up. At least he stands out. So many of these reviews read exactly the same. Makes you feel eerily like Batman. The player really feel like Batman. Could not look or feel more Batman. He does feel like we feel like Batman. IGN, what did you think? Arkham Asylum makes you feel like you're Batman. I mean, alright, I got two minds about that. One, I think they probably, like a lot of people... Um, don't give a shit. These writers, they don't, they don't give a shit. It's a job. And so if they're not the first to publish, they'll just find someone else's review and kind of crib it and change. Like that's, that's very standard. They, they, it's literally just to get something out that sort of fits in the score range and the, and the, it sounds like other reviews so that there's no big, um, and then, uh, but also maybe the game just makes you feel like you're Batman. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, if the, if it did, you should say it. Reviews certainly aren't perfect, but at least I'm trying out here. Even after I put my stuff up, I'm still in the comments taking the discussion even further. Now, let's look at IGN's review of Super Metroid. And Metroid you play as Metroid is a bounty hunter that shoots a dinosaur in outer space with his missile 9.5. What the fuck was the point of this? I can find all this shit on the back of the box, except there, it would probably sound exciting. The only real content in this review was the number at the end of it, which is usually restricted to a 7, 8, or a 9, all of which implied the game is good. Even something as disastrous as Mass Effect Andromeda will still get away with a 7 out of 10. I play a lot of games, and on my scale, most of this shit fucking sucks, man. Honestly. Even going back through the years, I find that only a few select games really mm -hmm. hold up today. So when mm -hmm. I do give a game a 3 out of 5, I'm saying, okay, this is a quality game. This is something worth your time that actually held my interest to the end credits. I feel like a lot of critics are too afraid to say something real, and I think there's a lot of factors that influence this. Gaming outlets and even YouTubers now have relationships and contacts with these companies so they can get interviews, early copies, early game footage. This doesn't mean they're paid off, but maybe they won't criticize stuff as harshly as 
as they should. They're part of a circle, and some of these websites are funded in large by advertising game developers, which fuels these really lame trends. Mainstream critics are pretty much restricted to only play the latest releases, so their standards are defined by what's been done recently. And then you have this fucking shitty rat race to be the first review on Metacritic so that your dumbass website can get more traffic, and the end result is a column of weak-ass first impressions. Right now, the music comes out like this. Right. People are writing a review in a, in a day. First of all, you can't listen to a, an album and rate it in a day. It's just impossible. The best reviews are entirely subjective. <laughs> Not on Twitch, baby. Donda drops. Every fucking chatter wants to know the take fucking within 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> fucking chatters go to every single person's stream and they want to know your fucking complex thought out take on every track <laughs> 48 minutes after the album dropped <laughs> they listen to it on 2x speed yeah it drops they fucking play it on 2x speed if they like the artist they say it bangs if they don't they say it fucking sucks then they come into the chat and ask you to fucking agree <laughs> <laughs> That's actually how it goes. But that doesn't mean you throw objectivity out the window. Yeah, and like, how can a streamer tell you the opinion if Fantano hasn't given them their opinion yet? Every streamer has to wait until Fantano gives the opinion so we can echo that but change a slight bit about it <laughs> back to you. So we're in a safe zone of correct <laughs> opinions. You guys understand how this works? You have to build your case with honest statements that even someone who disagrees with you could relate to. Recently, GameSpot gave the new Crash Remaster a 6 out of 10, citing some abrupt difficulty spikes. But if you know GameSpot, you know these guys aren't exactly capable when it comes to platformers. New Super Mario Bros. Wii is a tough game. Old school tough. <laughs> this will test even the... <laughs> I, I listen, I don't... <laughs> seasoned platforming veterans. <laughs> New Super Mario Bros. Wii is by far the most challenging game. The game's high difficulty may initially scare off new players. But why is my opinion more valid than this guy's? Well, first off, I actually completed the fucking game. This dude got halfway through the game and put his review up. What the fuck? That's it's cringe. funny because I think he's absolutely right. Crash Bandicoot is a little rough on the controls and camera, but it's completely doable until this fucking piece of shit, dumb motherfucker turtle level. Who is responsible for this fucking abomination? This has got to be one of the single worst levels I've ever seen in a video game. The game can feel really old. Depth perception is an issue. Stiff driving controls. Physics just don't always work. He's Shit, turtle. Hit detection in general can be a little weird. It's not quite as precise as it should be. When Reggie was developing Mario 64, he discovered that jumps requiring pinpoint precision just did not fly in a 3D space. Naughty Dog, however, said, Fuck that shit, jump on this shitty turtle, kid, except it won't even bounce you far enough to get over the fucking <laughs> piece of shit bridge. There's certainly a steeper than usual learning curve, and the series has always been more impressive, in my opinion, on the visual end. Crash looking at the boulder chasing him, water shimmering down a waterfall, and Ancient I can't temple. believe Crash Eliminated Bandicoot is a when you lose, Crash owned by a Microsoft disappear. franchise now. Gets incinerated. That's fucking crazy. Gets crushed by a big ass boulder and destroyed. Pig knocks him off, breaks his spine. Boom! Just turns into a little pancake, falls in the water, freezes to death. He gets fucking killed in this game, man. When you finally conquer that ridiculous level, Crash says it all for you. He just goes. Great right job, except you missed 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 21, 22, 23, 24, 57, 58, 59, 60, 60, 64, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98. But hey, man, other than that, you did a good job. The presentation is top notch, and critics have most definitely taken notice. But what's more important to a game like this? How it feels or how it looks? Which leads into my final point. Did this turn into a Crash focus. Bandicoot review? Remember when this video was about game critics? That's because I lost focus, immediacy, <laughs> atmosphere, variety, replayability. This is what I value in a game. If the music sucks, oh fuck. If the levels are uninspired, if there's constant downtime, the game is not fun. If it's not fun, why bother? I see a lot of reviews where the language doesn't really align with the final verdict. The new Super Mario Bros. series has often felt like a watered down, more casual attempt. It's just a shame it doesn't push the system's visual or audio capabilities. Bit of a disappointment. Numbing, generic, bubbly music. Playing with friends is still a bit of a chaotic mess. By the time Mario U really starts to do interesting things, it's over. Damn, he fucking hates this shit.
<laughs> it is a little something for everyone. <laughs> is that IGN though? Yeah, an IGN 9.1 is like a fucking three, dude. That's actually, that's scorched earth. They gave it a 9.1? That's like they, I would, if I was a video game, I'd rather them fucking take a shit on it live on camera than give it a 9.1. 9.1 is fucking the lowest they go. Watch the Sekiro video. I've already seen it is the thing. It wouldn't be that fun if I've already seen it. Um, let's see if this works. I want to see if this works. This is going to be important for my content today. Fuck! Can you not copy paste a two gigapixel image into Photoshop? <laughs> Asking for a friend. Asking for a friend if you can copy and paste a two gigapixel image into Photoshop. You can. <laughs> All it takes is the power of a 3080 Ti. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, 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 mama mia, Figaro. Okay. I'm sorry, I have a 3090. <laughs> But a 38 Ti could do it as well. And that's on God. Okay. Uh, okay. This is boring. Why can't I fast forward this part of the video? All right. How about I just ban you and then you can wait for the video <laughs> and it'll be like fast forwarding. You dumb fuck! <laughs> Let me get my shit set up. <laughs> uh, all right, does this work? Oh, it does. Check it out. So I got a high resolution, two gigapixel image of the entire map of Santa Fortuna in Hitman, which I can now use to draw on and explain my world record strategy before we go into it. This is big. Instead of using, uh, you know, shitty paint drawings or whatever, I can actually use a legitimate fucking high-res zoom-inable fucking copy of the map, which should be, which should be fucking sick. Uh, I want to switch to this scene so you guys can really see it, though. How about that? There we go. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Uh, wait, should I let me do an intro? All right, so... Um, mm. Where I begin. Recently, I got my first 1 million view video explaining a Hitman speedrun. The 25 second speedrun of Miami. So, due to popular demand, I'm back with a brand new Hitman speedrun explained. But this time, I'm going to do it a little bit different. I'm going to walk you through how speedrunners broke the level Santa Fortuna in Hitman took down a drug cartel in record time. This is one of the most beautiful levels, expansive levels, exciting levels in Hitman history. It's one of my personal favorites. Uh, it's a level where you can simultaneously kill a drug lord. Oh, fuck. <laughs> one second. <laughs> a drug lord with his own pet hippo. You can kill him with his own drug smuggling submarine. You can even <laughs> Push his uh, uh, head lieutenant 
off of her own balcony into a piranha-infested river. Which just feels cruel. <laughs> Martinez is down. Good work. And finally, because it's all about drugs here in uh, this compound, you can put his chief chemist who creates the drugs, Jorge Franco, into his own machine and literally turn him into cocaine. Franco confirmed down. Nice work, And you get a bloody cocaine brick at the end. <laughs> Now, all of these things are awesome, awesome, awesome ways to complete the level. Um, Hitman's full of uh, extremely fun and creative kills. But for speedrunners, those are all a bit too slow. So I'm going to walk you through three levels of strategy. First, the first wave of speedrun ideas that were used in early world records. Second, the current modern way this level is speedrun. And finally, I'm going to reveal a brand new strategy that I've cooked up on my own and break the world record today. Mm. Mm. Sorry, wait. <laughs> Is this a song? <laughs> Okay, so let's get into it. Um, first, let me explain what the level's all about. And to do that, we're just gonna jump right in. To do that, we're just gonna jump right in. <clears throat> okay. There are three targets on this level. Rico Delgado, the head of the cartel. Jorge Franco, the chief chemist. And Andrea Martinez, his chief lieutenant. Uh, let me show you them in the world. This is Santa Fortuna, the three-headed serpent. This is, <laughs> and this is the world's greatest clown assassin. <laughs> let me show you around. Okay, because this is actually, I think I said Miami was the biggest level. I lied. <laughs> I lied because it's a good title. Santa Fortuna is a much more expansive level with three targets instead of two. Uh, and it's, a, it's, a, it's phenomenally big. And it's actually one of the biggest challenges for speedrunners to overcome. So, our first target is Andrea Martinez, who starts in this house here. Okay, let's see if we can go in the window and find her. Down the stairs. I'm going to try and move uh, more smoothly. There's Andrea Martinez. Okay? She starts here in this house, goes upstairs, and talks to her uh, her people. Okay? That's all you basically need to know about her. Now, let's go to our next target. Our next target is Rico Delgado, head of the cartel. He is right here. He starts at the front gate of his compound and does a tour of this entire compound <laughs> filled to the brim with armed cartel guards. He is an extremely tough target to isolate. Now reminder, the speed runs I'm talking about are silent assassin suit only. That means I cannot use disguises and I have to uh, get five star rating, which means nobody can even see his dead body. All kills must be accidents or the body must be hidden. If anyone sees anything illegal, I'm ripped. Also, of course, master difficulty. Yes, master difficulty. So, um, that's him. He walks around his compound. He starts here and then does a tour of this entire cartel compound filled to the brim with guards. And then finally, way, 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 way over here, and again, see how big this level is, is Jorge Franco, who starts right here uh -huh. with his own coterie of armed guards and inspects 
all the different levels of the cocaine production factory from the workers that are growing the crop to uh, these vats where they're mixing it to finally he walks in here where they process it into the cocaine bricks at the end. Okay? That is his route. There is something unique about Jorge Franco that I should tell you before we get on to the next part. <laughs> Every three seconds, and actually, we'll, we'll explain this part later. I'll explain it later. I'll explain, it later. <laughs> I'll explain Jorge Franco's interesting later. Okay? You know the beginning. You know the beginning. Um, those are the three targets. So, let me explain how speedrunners first approached this task. At least from when, you know, uh, I, I began uh, getting involved uh, with the community. Uh, let's open up this. So, here we are. Here is the world. I want to give you guys a full screen, actually. Here is the world of Santa Fortuna. I've gotten a full top-down aerial map to plan these assassinations. Plan one. This was used in the uh, first time I got the world record. Um, involves starting here at the bus stop, okay? And shooting a sniper rifle. Let's see if we can... <laughs> I don't know how to... <laughs> well, let's see. Target one is... Okay, well... <laughs> We use red for targets, okay? Target one is Andrea Martinez in this house. Start here. We shoot a sniper rifle, kill her through the window. Her body falls behind a desk, unfound, okay? Then we will sneak up this bridge over here, hop this wall, get into this building, and carefully use a bunch of carefully placed shots to weave our way through this compound without getting seen by guards all the way over here to this dock okay then we will lure the target out onto the dock shoot him dead and sneak over here at which point our final target let's get another kill here kill will be in this shed where we'll kill them and escape at this helicopter okay that is that is the, that's the strat. And I'm going to see if I can show it to you now so you sort of get it. You can't see because my face cam? I'm sorry. Let me make that a little more clear. All right. Do you get it? Through the compound, up the dock, uh, and then kill you. So we'll, we'll show you right now, and it'll be more clear when I explain it, when I show it. Um, the only problem is, <laughs> the only problem is this strat is so old, I don't know if I remember how to do it. I'm going to be honest. I'm not sure that I remember how to do that. This is like the strat I did fucking a year ago. Um, but I'll, I'll give you the basics and we'll, we'll figure it out from there. So uh, we'll need a sniper rifle. We'll need a pistol. And we will probably need... Um... I'm going to say this. No, maybe maybe this. <laughs> I'm definitely not going to do this right. <laughs> we'll give it a shot. We'll give it a shot. I, 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 this is vague. This is vague, all right? We'll try it. Here we go. Mm. Luckily, this will all be cut down for the video. <laughs> <laughs> okay now if you if you might remember from previous videos while the cutscene is going everyone in the world is moving so the longer you wait to cut the cutscene the later the timer can start but people can still be in different positions so i'm trying to get andrea martinez to walk right in front of a certain desk so here's what i do boom immediately Pull up my sniper rifle. Shoot here. Okay. That distracts her guard. Wait. Boom. She's dead. Now let's pause. Let's pause and show you what I did. 
Whoosh. Whoosh. Where's the... Uh, need an open window, right? There's... So... <laughs> there's her dead body. Okay? The first shot made this guy look to the right. He will never stop looking down these stairs. He will never look left. This lady is so focused on these spreadsheets, she will never turn around. And so Andrea Martinez's body will lay here dead <laughs> from a silent sniper bullet, and no one in this room will look up by the time I finish the run, okay? Nobody will see her dead body. It is a beautiful kill, and it gets rid of Andrea Martinez in the first few seconds. And this is the old strat. This is the old strat. It's a, it's a beautiful shot. And there's the clown. <laughs> Just looking <laughs> looking mean. Looking mean, dude. I think it's a symbol of capitalism. We don't care about each other, you know? We're so focused on our work. We don't even know if someone drops dead next to us. All right? So, also, this guy's asleep. This guy right there is asleep. So you can walk past him with a sniper rifle. All right. Now, we run up this way. Now, again... <laughs> We might have to pull a save here or something because I'm not, I'm literally not sure I remember all the shots I need to get through this place. This was a complicated strategy. It was the first attempt. So now we go in here. Shoot this. And then, <laughs> I'm literally going to, wait one second. <laughs> I literally have to save so we can try this a couple times. I actually don't remember. <laughs> Uh, I don't remember exactly how this works. It was like, uh, shoot that. This guy turns around. Then we walk down here. Shoot that. That guy turns around. Oh, fuck. Wait. <laughs> no, it's not that. 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 I actually remember. <clears throat> this was such a bad strat. You shoot this, okay? Then I think you shoot this. Then when that guy walks away, you shoot that. No! No, it's not that. <laughs> I, think, I think you have to just get him sick. Oh, wait, you just have to get him sick. Oh my god, wait, it's just getting him sick. Oh, it's literally just getting him sick. It's just literally, it's literally, it's literally just getting him sick. That's what it was. It was... <laughs> it literally wasn't, it wasn't, because the bullet's too loud. I actually, actually, you know what? I, you probably could do it this way and it'd be faster. Wait a minute, Mind Palace. Let me answer my Mind Palace. Wait, 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 wait. Let me answer my Mind Palace. Wait a minute. If I shoot that, I go around that guy. I shoot that. Who do I need to... I think that works, actually. Try it again. Try it again, try it again, try it again. Oh, I'm supposed to be doing the old strat. You're right. <laughs> I, don't, I don't need to make it better. <laughs> I don't need to make it better. Okay, we'll just do the old strat. We'll just do the old strat. We'll do the old strat. Um, okay. Do I even need a pistol, though? I'm trying to think. Do I even need a pistol? Can't I just use, like, this fucking Psyker and... Maybe I do. I just don't want to have to pick up the pistol. <laughs> just watch your old run? No, 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 no. Oh, yeah, you know what? Actually, fuck it. I'll just watch my old run, and then I'll do it. <laughs> or, or, we're just going to watch my own run because, like, literally, I'll just do it the way I did it back in the day. All right? That's perfect. That's what we'll do right now. Um, So we'll go here. We'll go to Atriac. We'll go to Obsolete Runs. And we'll get this one. 
the 41 minute run from my first time getting world record. Wait. Mm, right here. Here it is. Parachute. Boom. The show is just about <laughs> Okay. Let me just get the items right. Yeah, this was it. Okay. <laughs> so when do I cut the cutscene? Let me let me see. Let me see. I can try it. Love. Am I straight up? Don't. It's the most RNG. Means okay. okay. <laughs> Santa Fortuna is my biggest time saver in the run. Fucking lightning ahead. If we get Santa Fortuna first try, we are just we are cruising. Okay, that's what it was. But if we don't. It's not even an aiming thing, boys. You can hit the Dude, head. Dude, why did my computer load so lose. bad back then? People see it. Are, are the servers off today or what? Am I am I straight up? <laughs> am I straight up like? <laughs> am I? It just look at this. <laughs> okay. So village bus stop. What do I put in the? Okay, I put a you pistol. Need a trank? Yeah, trank. Let's go. Let's okay. go. Oh, Interesting. I would dude, I would love a first try on Santa Fortune. <laughs> Even a second try is like Here. pretty Just good. watch me. Just watch me. Well ahead of pace. <laughs> After Colorado. Welcome to Columbia 47. The remote village of Santa Fortuna awaits you. Hi, old chat. Rainforest. Everyone in chat spamming aim true back then. Cartel rules over the village and its, and its surroundings. surroundings. Security around Santa Fortuna. Security around Santa Fortuna, okay? So I walk. I grab that. I sing Fall Out Boy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but this was so RNG. <laughs> this is such a worse way to do that shot. <laughs> Oh my god, that was such a bad strat. There was no distraction shot. <laughs> At this video game. <laughs> okay. Holy shit, wait. I mean, it's not over. This is the hardest level. Let's hold, 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 hold. Maybe we'll just show I, it. We'll I'm, just show I'm it. Losing my mind. Okay, you hey, shoot, shoot her behind the guard. desk. This guard has killed me a million times. Shoot this. Let's get through the garden. Shoot that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Trank that guy. Okay. <laughs> Strat's so fucking wackadoodle. <laughs> okay. You sneak through the whole building. Making everyone turn around using sniper bullets. Make that guy sick right before he moves. Right now. <laughs> Not now. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and then Ari came in and was like, hey, do you want food? And I said, babe, not now. Because I was like in the middle of the most stressful. <laughs> Okay, and then, so the, the key element of this strat was this right here, the gun lure, okay? If a target catches you out of the corner of their eye, the bar starts filling up with their suspicion meter. And if you get it almost to full and then duck away, they will go investigate what the hell that was, even though it's very obviously a clown pointing a gun at them. <laughs> so I stand here, and you can see the bar start to fill up. The bar is starting to fill up. She walked in with the dog. <laughs> and then right as it I fills up, I duck I away. <laughs> I had to. Chat, shut up. <laughs> shut up. She gets it. She, she knows I've been grinding for this. Then I shoot that guy up in the balcony. I shoot the behind him so he turns around so he doesn't see me shoot. And then I pop this guy right in the nuts. Right in the nuts. <laughs> Rico Wait a minute. Which is a low center of gravity so he doesn't fly far. It's actually strategically important. 
If you shoot him in the head, he'll fly way back. If you shoot him in the nuts, <laughs> he falls like right where he stood. So <laughs> it's strategic. So I shoot him in the nuts. Uh, he falls on the dock. He is now dead within his own compound. No guards see it. Please. All right, so this guy can be in a We're around two minutes in, and there's still a third target to kill. Okay, spot. Get rid of this. Get rid of this camera. Get another one. And then you have to hit this fucking... You gotta hit this crazy long-range um, Psyker shot. Now, the Psyker is a weapon in Hitman that makes the target sick. Well, let me actually get my camera up for this. The Psyker... We'll show it here one more time. This one right here... Wait, go back. Is a weapon that makes them sick and have to go to the bathroom. Keep that in mind. It'll be important later. I'm so fucking cracked! <laughs> 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 I'm losing my mind. How did I even hit that fucking shot? <laughs> you won't have to soon, King. Don't worry. I'm not going to be able to finish the run. I'm too hyped. How am I hitting these shots in the mo? I don't hit those offline. I don't hit those in practice. <laughs> Thank you, Dream, for those hacks. Boom. That shot makes him walk to the bathroom. You shoot him in the head. Boom. Oh, it's done. It's done. And the time? Oh, it's actually done. Santa Fortuna. Wait a minute. We got the perfect Colorado and the perfect Santa Fortuna? Pog. 246. <laughs> okay. 246. Good job, old Atrioc. Wow. Pretty impressive. Unfortunately, that does not cut it anymore. 246 is a little too slow for modern day speedrunning. So now let me show you what the current modern day strat is. Let me show you what the current modern day strat is. This one I do know. And it's a big improvement on that one, though a little bit more, um, a little more RNG. So I will show you what we currently do. And then I'm gonna show you the new strat. So this one requires a Psyker. It requires a sniper rifle. It requires a pistol and it requires an explosive of some sort. Uh-huh, this all looks great. Don't think I need to change a thing. So let's get into it. Oh, no cam. Got it. Fine. Let me show you what we do today. <clears throat> so now it's a little bit differently. Now we cut the cutscene instantly. We shoot there. We shoot there. We take out our sniper rifle. <laughs> we mess it up. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> One more time. <laughs> Uh, the cam screwed me up. <clears throat> All right, let me show you. Open this. Shoot there. I'm going to explain this after I do it. And then... Oh, it's going to be long. I'm going to show you how it's actually... Dude. Okay, pause. Pause. Martinez is down. Good work. So what we did there was the second the game started. Instantly. I shot a bullet all the way down here into this room right here, causing everyone to panic. All right. Andrea Martinez panicking runs outside. As she runs outside, I shoot with my sniper rifle, <laughs> this hanging pot, which falls on her head, killing her instantly counting as an accident kill counting as an accident kill. That way, when people see your dead body, it is not a hitman. It's not an assassin. It doesn't ruin your silent assassin rating. It's an accident. The, the pot fell on her head and killed her. Okay? So that's first kill down in seconds. Even faster than the old way. Then we continue. We run up here. Pull out our pistol. Come around this corner. Now this part's crazy, and this is part of the current run that's so impressive. 
We shoot here. <laughs> Pull out our sniper rifle. Oh, fu ah, fuck! <laughs> Wait, I think, I think we're still good. I think we're still good. We're still good, we're still good, we're still good. Wait. In the nuts. <laughs> we're good, we're good, we're good. <laughs> now let me explain that. Let me explain that. Dude, it's, it's infinite <laughs> scrolling. Okay. <laughs> so, we stood here on this scaffolding going into the building. All right? We shot one pistol shot right here, which made these guards look away. We shot another pistol shot over here, which made these guards look away. And then we shot the <laughs> this uh, cartel leader dead right before... He got in front of these bushes. So these guys don't see his dead body. Look. <laughs> Technically, that guy should see his feet. <laughs> but he doesn't. <laughs> so we see... Uh, he dies in this one area of his whole compound that nobody is actively patrolling. These guys are looking this way. These guys are looking this way. These guys are looking this way. But nobody is looking right here behind these hedges. So we kill him right there, he falls, and we have a clock started, okay? When he falls right here, we have a clock. It's not very long. Eventually, these guards will patrol over here and find his dead body. It's inevitable. If we don't finish the run quickly, uh, it will always rip. Because if they find his dead body, you lose Silent Assassin and it's over. So the second I kill him, I'm on a clock. So we have to move quickly. All right? So we run this way. We pull out the pistol. We uh, drop this bomb, and we run. Oh, oh God! <laughs> we run out. Okay. Mm -hmm -hmm. Avoid these guards. Pick up this log off the ground. <laughs> this is a big innovation. This log. Toss the log over there. Everybody looks at the log. We sneak around. <laughs> No one notices us. They're all looking at the log. <laughs> okay, now, right about now, I set off that bomb. Let me show you why I did that. So, the guards I mentioned that were patrolling, they're about to head back and find this dead body. So, right at about 1 minutes, 20 seconds in that range, we detonate that bomb I dropped, and everybody runs back to look at that. That buys us a little bit more time. We need as much time as we can get before they find the body to get the hell out of this place. So we detonate a bomb, everybody comes back, and we get a little more time before they find this dead body. All right? Oh, I don't want these guys to see me. Okay, Jorge is coming. So let me explain one final mechanic that has caused speedrunners so much pain over the years. And that is this man, Jorge Franco. The target that has ruined so many runs of so many runners. Every three seconds, this old bastard can randomly stop and check his iPad or stop and do a deep hacking cough. Okay? And it's randomly. Every three seconds, he can stop and go, <coughs> or just check his iPad. If he does none of those things, he moves really fast. And he'll be way ahead on his route. He might already be in this room. If he does those things every three seconds, he could be way back here. It's completely random every game, whether you get a slow Jorge Franco or a fast Jorge Franco, entirely depending on how many times he checks his iPad and coughs. Okay? So every run, you pray for a fast Jorge Franco. I'm going to show you why. Because I the strategy is to go in here, uh, grab this, grab my getting sick gun, and then hit him with it. Oh, they found the body. <laughs> I might have to run this one again for the video. But yeah, we ran out of time. We they found the body. Jorge was too slow. Because Jorge is too slow, they found this body. And this rips so many runs. It's, it's, it's pretty much RNG. If you get a fast Jorge, you can get out in time. If you get a slow Jorge, they'll find this body. And so you have to, 
what you have to do is start over from Paris every single time <laughs> that you don't get a good Jorge. It's, it's miserable. It's cursed. But it was the only way to get a fast time on this level. Let's try it one more time and just because I, I, I'll, I'll give it a real focus and see if we can um, get a faster Jorge and explain to you what's, what's going on. All right. All right, dead focus. Shoot the shot. Shoot the shot. Take out my sniper rifle. Shoot it. She's dead. Perfect. Martinez is down. Good work. Take out our pistol. Shoot this. Again, the first two parts of this thing are pretty consistent. It's just grinding and practice. But Jorge's speed can rip the run no matter what you do. All right, shoot this. Shoot this. Shoot this. Rico Delgado has been eliminated. Nicely done. Shoot those guys. Something Drop the bomb. Okay, they found you. his body. Yikes. Home run. One more run till we get it. Anyway, you're going to see why I am <laughs> happy there's a new, <laughs> a new run. <laughs> Shoot that. Shoot that. Shoot that. Okay. Martinez is down. Good work. And then hopefully, hopefully, beyond hope, we can get this. And you have to pray. You have to pray for a fast Jorge. Collectively, we have to fucking put our minds together and pray for a fast Jorge. Shoot that. Shoot that. That was perfect. Rico Delgado has been eliminated. Nicely done. That gives us a lot of time. Drop this. Okay. That gives us a lot of time. But we still need a fast Jorge. We did everything perfectly, but we need a fast Jorge for this strategy. Grab this. Toss the log. Carefully, carefully, carefully. And we're good. All right, Jorge is moving pretty fast. He's all right. He's not super fast, but he's pretty fast. He's all right. <laughs> okay, we walk up here. Oh, I missed. Oh, fuck. All right, we got him. Okay. Ooh, close. Shoot this. Make him turn around. Make him turn around. <laughs> and then when Jorge walks over here. Oh, shit. Oh, they found the body. <laughs> you get out. You get out. Okay? You get out. But again, you see what it's like? How fast? It didn't matter. Even if we shot him, it wouldn't matter because uh, it takes three seconds after you kill someone to get out and they found it. So unfortunately, uh, he just wasn't fast enough. It, it all depends on how fast he is. <clears throat> so anyway, this, this, this strat comes in between, let's say, 150 and 210. I'm going to do it one more time because I would love to see if we can get one for the, for the video. You forgot the bomb? Yeah, that's why we didn't get an extra time. Again, I haven't practiced this strat because I've been working on the new strat, so I have to... Let's see. Let's one more time. This is, let's go. All right, shoot this. Shoot this. Okay. All right. This is the one. Fast Jorge. 
No cough, no iPad. No cough, no iPad. No cough, no iPad. Shoot this. Shoot this. Okay. Delgado has been eliminated. Nicely done. Drop the bomb. Okay, so far so good. No cough, no iPad. Don't play Fruit Ninja. None of that. Or I guess it'd be like words with friends. <laughs> For his age. Toss the fucking log. Sneak around the corner. Okay. We keep moving. By the way, this big innovation of this strat, which was huge, a big breakthrough, came from Coates. Um, just to shout out him. This one where you sit back here and you wait for uh, Jorge to come around this corner. This is Coates' strat. Oh, the bomb. <laughs> too late for the bomb. Oh, we'll detonate it, but it's <laughs> it should be too late. <laughs> We'll see. All right. Shoot that. Okay. Detonate the bomb so they all go running. Shoot Jorge. So we get sick. Shoot the camera. Shoot that. She turns around. All right. You got my attention. Shoot that. So he turns around. And then hopefully hit that shot. One, two, three. And we're out. Okay. Okay, so that's the current strat. That is the current world record strat that's used in uh, the Trilogy runs. Everyone who runs Trilogy or runs uh, Season 2 world record will use a uh, basically that strat. And it gets you, again, if it's really fast, Jorge, you can get around a 155, 154. And if it's a slow, Jorge, you can get as slow as a, a 215 to 220. After that, you pretty much always get the body found. All right, And that's where we currently sit. Uh, and it's a, it's a great strat. It's amazing. Um, it relies on him getting sick. Uh, it cuts out a lot of time. It's a big time saver. But if we go back to our map, let's go back to our map. So let's say white was the first strat. Um, go layers. Oh, I literally, okay. Let's get rid of all these brushes. All right. If white was the first strat, and let's say, uh, let's say green is the strat we just did, where you start here, you shoot her here, here, you run up here, you go over here, over here, in, out, around, over, <laughs> shoot him here. Shoot him here and go around here, around here to the helicopter. What you realize is if you really want to optimize, this doesn't look good. <laughs> this doesn't look like the fastest way, right? It feels like you could be a little, a little cleaner. You could be a little cleaner. So what you'd like to do, honestly, is run from here straight to the helicopter. That would be a lot faster. That would be a lot faster. But the problem is Jorge's not fast enough. It just doesn't work. And, and you need to pick up the Psyker, the gun that gets people sick, right here. You have to pick it up from the shed. Let me zoom in so you see. Okay? In order to, to get him alone, you have to make him sick. And to make him sick, you need the gun from this shed. So there's just no way you can make this route work. It just doesn't make it doesn't seem possible. Unless, 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 unless you found a way to get rid of the sniper rifle. Let me, you have to move you guys. <laughs> Chat, because. <laughs> uh, even without my camera, I want to show you. Unless you found a way 
to get rid of <laughs> to get rid of the sniper rifle. Okay? Wait, I need chat on the screen but not over the sniper. These are, I have so many chats. There, these guys. And we'll put you right here. Okay. Okay, there it is. <laughs> so one more time. <laughs> Clean what? Unless you found a way to get rid of the sniper rifle. If you take the sniper rifle out, all of a sudden, you can start the game with the Psyker. Interesting. Interesting. And if you started the game with the sniper, you could reevaluate your whole plan altogether. Let's dive in. So, remember how before we had to use a sniper rifle to shoot that pot that fell on Andrea Martinez's head. Pull my sniper. Boom. Boom. She's dead with a pistol. I take out the psyker that I started with and we keep running, okay? That's just the beginning. Now we have to kill Rico Delgado in the middle of his compound from this scaffolding without a sniper. Delgado has been eliminated. Okay. Okay. So far, so good. Now is where it gets crazy. And I'm going to have to pause and explain some stuff to you. <laughs> okay. In the world of Hitman, um, Again, the AI in this game is pretty amazing when you play it by yourself casually. When you play for fun, especially on master difficulty, you'll get caught all the time. But there's a unique trick that can sort of mess with the AI and it was designed to stop people from just camping with sniper rifles in a corner. And it's that if an AI hears three shots around them, they will run with pure ferocity to where those shots came from. And they will ignore everything else. They will ignore dead bodies they see. They will ignore panicking civilians. They just have to get to you. Because in early versions, I'm, I'm assuming, people were just camping with sniper rifles and there was so much chaos going on, the guards would just get stuck. They would get, they would just keep getting panicked by everything and, and they would get run around. So they kind of just added like this last ditch effort where if you're shooting enough from a far away distance and they can't see where it's coming from, they just barrel there, okay? And so it creates sort of a bubble around where you made those shots. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to run here. And I'm going to shoot three shots. Okay? And then I'm just going to duck in these bushes and they're going to run right past me. They're going to run right past me. <laughs> Even though I'm a clown basically ducking in some bushes, they are focused. I'm not holding a gun or anything, but, I, you know, they have one mission. They have to get to where those shots came from. And they couldn't see where they came from because of the way I shot them. Now, again, there is very few instances in the game where you can pull this off. It's not like a, like, I'm just about to sneak, I'm going to sneak past these guys right here. I can't do it to these guys because I'm too close. It only works in certain, like, corridors and lengths, but it's it's very powerful. And that has already changed, uh, it's already sped up this run because I don't have to get the log. So I keep running. Right here, I'm going to shoot here, make those guys turn around. Shoot here, make that guy turn around. Okay. Then I need to stop and I need to explain how toilets work <laughs> in the world of Hitman. It's like quantum universes. <laughs> I need to explain the concepts of toilets, specifically porta potties, because porta potty mechanics are what makes this strategy. You see, mm. in the world of Hitman, when you get someone sick, they will immediately and without delay go to the nearest porta potty or toilet. Boom. 
the nearest. But, unfortunately, the fact that I've saved all of this time, the fact that I've, I've used the triple shot and I've snuck around these guards without the log and I'm moving really fast, the fact that I've saved all this time means nothing. Because if I were to hit Jorge Franco with a sick dart right now, he would not go to the porta potty I need him to go to, which is this one, where I can shoot him from the helicopter and escape. He's not close to that one. He's close to this one. But, but, my knowledge of porta potties kicked in. If a porta potty is occupied, the target will search for the nearest non occupied porta potty. And that, my friends, was the breakthrough. So, right about now, I take out my sick gun, which has two bullets, mind you, and I shoot this guard, who is also near to this porta potty. And he will head there immediately and occupy it. Now, even though we have an extremely slow Jorge, I will run up this direction. I will set off the bomb to give myself more time. I will duck into here. And I will aim true. And I will shoot Jorge. And now, now my target Jorge wants to go to this porta potty, but it's currently being taken, even though he's not even there yet. The game has decided this is allocated. This guy is allocated to this porta potty. He's not there yet, but it's occupied. So he will now go to the nearest porta potty outside of that. And that means he's going to walk over here. Okay? But now, instead of having him sick all the way in here, I got to do it all the way back here. I don't have to wait for all the iPads and the coughing and all that stuff. And that also means, let me show you. Uh, <laughs> Since I got him early enough, oh wait, I only have to pause. He's not just gonna walk this route like he normally does, where he walks up this road, over here, through the bushes. I got him so early, he's gonna walk this way, which means he's gonna pass this explosive barrel. And that is where the true comes in. Boom! Boom! Accident kill! Accident kill! They're all looking at the explosion. I sneak out, barely not filling the meter. With a whopping... Insane! 144. 11 seconds faster than even the fastest of the old strat. And that, that's first try showing it. Now, let me be clear. There is a um, an alternate strat that works extremely rarely that got a 143 for the fastest master time ever on the world record leaderboard. And if I were to just show you this, it would be the fastest. I mean, this is the new consistent like full game best strat, but it wouldn't be a world record. <laughs> but that was sort of an example. That was an example. Uh, I have, of course, run this offline. This is where the, the chef pulls the the meal out of the oven <laughs> that's been pre-baking. Uh, I have, of course, optimized this strategy uh, for playing when you're being dead serious. And with that version, I'll just show you the end. This is my perfect run of this Whoa. of this strat. Get that guy sick, occupy the bathroom. I just cut more corners in this one for the for the best time. But I would never do this in a full game because it's too close to whooshing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A 134! A 134, which is now 
nine seconds faster than the previous world record. And the new official Santa Fortuna master world record. Nice. Oh, sorry. I'm not showing, I'm showing this. Oh, that's me saying nice in the background. 134, the new official world record. So I hope you enjoyed. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed. I'll submit it. Uh, I think Quack will submit it, but we'll get it, we'll get it submitted. Um, uh, <laughs> how um, porta potty mechanics led to a new Hitman world record is <laughs> is the title I'm looking at. But it all it took was knowledge of toilets. <laughs> Literal king shit. <laughs> to uh to to break the record. Um anyway, hope you guys enjoyed that. Thought I'd show you a little bit of a uh, evolution of that Hitman speedrun again. It's a really awesome level. And I highly recommend playing it casually because the hippo kill is one of my favorite kills in the whole game. Uh, how one pooping guard beat the record. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Um. Any chance to do a breakdown of all the levels? I think I'm splitting it up video by video. We're, we're just making each level interesting. Um. Anyway, before I move on, I just wanted to give a huge shout out because the main component of that strat, uh, I mean of the of the current world record strat, not the one I showed, but. The one we've been using forever came from Coates, and he's a big pioneer on that map. Uh, I just want to give him credit. And also the, the, the mere concept of like um, cutting through the back and all that c came from like his original um, stuff. So big shout out to Coates. And shout out to uh, everyone in the Hitman Speedrun community. And there's a lot of people whose um, innovations all pile up. Oh yeah, and the bomb, the bomb to extend time. Yeah, the bomb, the bomb to get more time uh, before the guards turn around is a Coates thing, and that's huge. That's a, that's a big because you really need that extra time. The idea of dropping a bomb and exploding it later so all the guards turn around so you get more time is genius, and that comes from Coates. Yep. Um, who found the log? That was me. <laughs> I told Linkus about it. I definitely remember that because I think we used to use gunshots or something. We used to use something else and it was so much worse. And then I was like, there's a log right here. Let's just toss it. Yeah, we used to shoot. I remember we were practicing shooting the tree and it was so much worse. <clears throat> How do you know so much about porta potties? Years of studying. Years of studying. <laughs> yeah, toss log. Toss log was me. Um, but the, uh, <laughs> the porta potty thing, it was a big breakthrough because I, 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 so I found out how to get there faster, but every time I would shoot him with the dart, he would go to the wrong porta potty. And then the breakthrough of shooting uh, the other guy was like huge. Um, okay. So that's the video. Hope you guys, uh, enjoy. Now we have the night to do other fun stuff. Uh, I've also been, you know, I'm, I'm taking a break, obviously, going uh, for home for the weekend. But I've been trying some new Hitman stuff. I got some new. That's not the only strat that I've been cooking on. Um, and I've also been learning other great strats that uh, other runners have come up with, um, including a really cool um, Sapienza and Marrakesh that I've been uh, studying. So lots of cool stuff coming down the Hitman Pike as uh, things get closer. <clears throat> How hard is it to snipe with a pistol? Uh, the pistol has built-in bullet jitter over a certain distance. So it's actually nearly impossible sometimes. But that target is just the right distance where you can sort of get it. <clears throat> How a number two got me a number one is a fire title but it wouldn't <laughs> no one's gonna click on it but it is funny it's funny it's not what i'm gonna use but it's funny um
Uh, yeah, yeah, it might be the description. It might be my top comment. I might do it. You know what? Make it the top comment, bro. I'll fucking like it. I'll pin it and like it. <laughs> David Keychain said, I did my first Hitman stream. Weird to play the game casually after only ever seeing you speedrun it. Bro, it's so fun casually. I'm, I hope you enjoy it. I think, I hope people don't get the idea. I always worry about this. That Hitman is like a game where you really have to fucking... <laughs> Uh, hyper plan or something. You you can go in there and free ball it and try a bunch. It's just a fun ass game. Super super million different ways to kill. That's why I wanted to really include the part about the hippo kill and the submarine kill and the all that stuff because it's it's just super fun to do those kills. <clears throat> a spectacle grinding Santa Fortuna right now. Thanks to you. That's great. <laughs> it's good. I'm, I hope he I hope he learns it. Um. <clears throat> okay. Um, so what's next? What else can we do? We have a lot of stuff, stuff to do. To, I wanted to do a, maybe a get smarter. Oh, Reddit recap. Let's check the Reddit. Let's check the Reddit. What's going on on the Reddit today? The level you just did took me an hour. Dude, it probably took me an hour when I first started. Dude, even my first run, my first officially submitted three hour record run back when there was no competition was, uh, <laughs> I did the hippo kill. I did the hippo kill in the run. I took the time. Um, now it's under 30 minutes for the whole trilogy. <clears throat> um, okay. Uh, but like like I said, we can't go over the Reddit without a little bit of help from the community, from, from you guys. I can't do it myself. I need some sort of one voice to ring out true as one. And, and and break the barrier that's keeping me from getting to the Reddit. So if you guys could collectively sing the opening theme song, as we always know, before we go to the Reddit, we sing the iconic Reddit song. Sing it with me, chat. It's, it's time for Reddit with Atriarch. So let's go see what memes are at the top. Are this week's posts fire or flops? So go join r slash Atriarch. Let's see what's on the Reddit today. Uh, before my big vacay. Top of the week on the Atrioc subreddit. Some of this stuff might be repeats. Could we, yeah. uh, let's see. Big A's new content took me by surprise. And it is me doing a rare FIFA pack opening, huge win, OMG finally. Warzone kill record. <laughs> Look how shocked I am at my 52 bomb on Rebirth Island. And spending thousands on Raid Shadow Legends. This one <laughs> has 173k views. <laughs> if I got 173k for Raid Shadow Legends, I'd do it, bro. <laughs> That's dumb. I, I fucking... That's good. That's like what we got in the punch knife video. This is also like not too far off from the punch knife video. <laughs> this is like, this is not a big difference. Like you're acting like this is a funny joke about how I don't do this content. This is like the same thing. I, <laughs> I spent thousands on pack openings and then I got scammed. <laughs> this thumbnail is pretty good. If you just put Punch's stupid face right here, it's like literally spot on. Um, also, if I got a 52 bomb in Warzone, I would post it. I want you guys to know that. <laughs> I'm not above it. I just don't play that game. I'm not good at it. If I ever did get a 52 bomb, I would 100% post it just for posterity. Uh, I don't think I'd ever do FIFA pack opening, though. That's, you got me on. It also looks like it did bad, so. Even in this alternate universe, I'm cutting FIFA if it only got 82k. Um, alright. I'll vote. That was a funny one. Well, let's see what the comments are. This is obviously fake. The thumbnail faces aren't the same every video. I don't have the delete power. <laughs> it's so fucking stupid. I, <laughs> I use different faces. I have a good repertoire, a good coterie of established fan favorites, sure, that I bring back out. It's like I'm a, it's like I'm a fucking it's like um a band, okay? And I play a concert. I'm going to play some of the hits and some of the new stuff. It's 
Chat, are you telling me? Are you fucking honestly telling me? You don't want to bring out this greatest hit. Is that what you're telling me? You're telling me I can't bring out the greatest hit every now and then? This is like, this is like, uh, this is Freebird, dude. This is, <laughs> this is God's plan at a Drake concert. People want to hear it. I have to, I got to bring it out. <laughs> the stairway to heaven. Yeah. I, I got to bring this out, dude. You're telling me you don't want me to bring out the fucking, oh my God, the fucking classic? The fist on head? <laughs> this is how you know a video is going to make me funny. You see this? You know the video is a banger, dude. Fist on head interrupt. That means it's going to be funny as fuck. I'm clearly mauled. Squidward just did some shit. <laughs> I, this is a banger. I, I save this one. I swap out the shirt color. I just fucking hue shift the shirt color. I use this one anytime I think a video is a banger. <laughs> this is probably my favorite thumbnail face. I use it for anything I think is actually funny. <laughs> Wait, what did Connor say? <laughs> Photoshopped hairline. <laughs> I photoshopped it to be worse. <laughs> Just to get people off my back. <laughs> I bring it up a little bit. <laughs> uh okay. Uh don't we oh I missed the old HRI. Brandon sell out Ewing. That's not nice. By the way, speaking of that, unrelated. Um, <laughs> I love Raytheon. <laughs> you know? People always say the military industrial complex is ruining the country. I say, we could always use a few more missiles. Thanks, Raytheon. Thanks for the mug. Um, okay. Average Atrioc fan. Unmatched so quick from Vicky. You like Justin's photo. Hello, hola, shit, I've never gotten this far with a girl. I don't know what to say now. Uh, poggers. That's, that's not the average HR fan. Okay, first of all, he got a match. <laughs> first of all, he got a match. Okay, so let's not. <laughs> uh... <laughs> No, 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 no. There's no second of all. <laughs> we don't, we're not really a poggers community. I don't think we say poggers that much. This feels like a, maybe an older Ludwig thing. We say poggers now and then, but we're not, we're not, we're poggies if anything. But everyone knows Poggies is way more alpha, way more chat, way more sigma, actually. If if he just said uh Poggies, I think this would be a different. I think she would have said <laughs> super liked. <laughs> I think I think it's different. I think it's I think couldn't give my number fast enough. Uh yeah, I, I think it's different. Evan Gao hits mainstream media, gaming Bible. <laughs> That's CNN for you. <laughs> When I think of the MSM, I think of Gaming Bible on Instagram. This is this is where it fucking happens. This is fucking Wolf Blitzer. <laughs> you made it, dude. You're on fucking <laughs> the nightly news. Streamer accidentally deletes all his followers while trying to purge bots. There's a thousand likes. <laughs> Bro, I got some... Fucking cringy ass Instagram posts on my own shitty profile that have more than a thousand likes. Who the fuck cares about Game Boy on Instagram? Evan Gow getting top of uh, LSF was the big deal. This is this is nothing. <laughs> I wouldn't even fucking show my parents this. They did say his name though, or did they? Or did they say streamer? Oh yeah, streamer Evan Gow. Okay, that's good. Did they even ask you for permission, or did they just yoink your clip? Sometimes they'll ask, but oftentimes they just yoink and then monetize. Uh, also, the Miz raid. The Miz raid uh, did uh, was was big. That's mainstream media. You're on Miz Kiff's stream. <laughs> That's about as MSM as it gets for Twitch. 
Uh, the true heroes are in chat. Atriox stream, a beautiful paradise where everyone hold hands, play with animals. Beautiful sunset. It's held up by the blood, sweat, and tears of the people who mod the ghost into single player games. Actually fucking true. <laughs> and I'm proud to be an Atriox viewer. Where at least I know he won't read my sub or pay me, but he'll yoink my ghost skin free. And I'll proudly stand up and spam sevens with him to this day. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, well, honestly, I really do appreciate it because that Sekiro ghost skin was so well done. It looks so good. It looked better in the cutscenes than it did even in the main game. It looked great in the main game. I've never seen a skin, when it's zoomed in on in the cutscene, look amazing like that. It looked so good. Uh, so I, I was really impressed. Really, really uh, huge. Actually, I'm going to probably send him some money. I'll give him a cut of the second row vid once it goes up. That sounds like a fair, that's a fair trade. Um, all right. The throw of the century. We We don't have to watch this, do we? <laughs> We don't have to watch this again. I feel like I've seen it enough. I feel like I don't want to relive it. Because it doesn't accurately reflect where I ended up. Believers rise, believers. Oh, Fuck! Yes! Fuck! Yes! Fuck! Yes! No! So you know what I found out? <laughs> the controller was unplugged, but I didn't even pick up the Xbox controller. I picked up this controller. My my ratty Nintendo Switch Pro controller. Like that's what I, in this scene when I'm saying wait 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 wait. wait. No, I it. Right now, I'm holding this controller. Because my the other one's on the floor. The other one's on the fucking floor. I was holding this one. Yeah. No! Oh, no! Hold your channel points, chat. Why can't he beat the thing? He can't And then the fucking the song is so bad. Bro, I wish I scripted this. This was so... Uh, what sucks is I think that my... um. So when I finally do beat it, my pop-off is a little meaner <laughs> than it should be. Because <laughs> I was in such a bad mood after this. Like, I, re I, I sort of looked back. I watched my pop-off. And uh, and it's like, I, I go, fuck yeah. And then I go, fuck you. And fuck every chat. Like, I'm like... I'm like I shouldn't even worry about backseaters, but I like go in. <laughs> it's like I have this mean pop off because I'm just in such a bad mood after this moment. It would have been so good just to get it here when I fucking lose my voice on the first scream. No. <laughs> there once was a guy with an iron. No, I don't <laughs> so bad. It's also bad because Ari came in right at this moment and has to watch me melt down. She came in to give me a hug and like congratulate me because I've been grinding. And you have to see her face like sink as I try to spike the control, <laughs> scream, lose, break down. And she just slowly like sinks back out of the room. <laughs> yeah, this really was bad. Like, this is not something that I, I mean, I'm happy I got a clip out of it, but I would have preferred to just get it. I think. I guess it'll be good for the video, but it's like, uh, <laughs> it definitely didn't, <laughs> you know, the rest of the night was not as fun. Second part, he paused his screen and believer. You could have used your keyboard to pause the game. I should have. I, I literally should have pressed escape. That would have been a good idea. I didn't think about it in the moment. Because it wasn't in the script, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Just thought Atriot would win this time, but he was only fall. <laughs> smash my chair uh it all makes sense now what inspired you to buy activision blizzard we're talking about this overwatch porn <laughs> which is 
which is probably not true. Probably not true. Do people know NVIDIA's logo? Testing how well HDRock does his job. Okay. That's not... Do you think my main focus in my job is to get <laughs> NVIDIA logo retention high among average... <laughs> just the average... Like, that's not... Don't say Yepcock because you guys are going to say Yepcock because I'm asking a rhetorical question and you always say Yepcock. No matter what, even if the rhetorical question doesn't make any sense and if the answer is obviously no, you always say Yep. So let's find out if that's the case. Maybe I did a good job. Hey homies, Afghans here, or as I'm known as in my niche micro-celebrity circle, the Middle Eastern token, Big A Junior, Big Av Afghans. Welcome back to Streamer <laughs> on the Street. Drake's? <laughs> hey, we got him. We caught a big one in this community. Let me tell you, they say celebs don't stop by here. I say, look again. Look again. Streets, where I'm off the streets and at Momocon Winterfest to find out if people really know what NVIDIA's logo looks like. I'm sorry, what? Ari! Did you go to Momocon? No, that's like East Coast, I think. Okay. Oh, yeah. thank God. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, was, I was so worried. She went to a con recently, and I was like, <laughs> if if my fucking fiance showed up in another goddamn video, I was going to lose my mind. Oh, we're safe. Okay, good. Streamer on the streets. Every good interviewer knows that. I'm sorry. Did Evan Gow in chat say almost pulled an Evan Gow? <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Evan. <laughs> Don't try to fucking brand your name. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, dude. <laughs> Damn, guys, that's a classic. That's a regular Evan Gow. <laughs> That's what I do in work meetings. If there's a good idea, I'm like, damn, that's a real Atriok, huh? <laughs> that's a real Atriok level idea. Before you interview anyone, you have to assimilate in the environment that you're in. So today, I brought my favorite cosplay from my favorite anime. 12 seconds later. It's Squid Game. <laughs> and Topical. I know that this character is like a mainstay in the show, right? 067 played an important role. But I'm not 067, uh -huh. I'm Afghans. And if there's one adjustment I can go ahead and make to this costume, it would be one single thing. <laughs> so stupid. So you took what was already a lame <laughs> Yes, thanks babe. Wait, you wanna see this guy's cosplay? What do you think about it? Oh. You, you're an expert on cosplay? I'm not. What do you think about this cosplay? Well, I don't, oh is it? I don't know what they're supposed to be. <laughs> they're 067 from Squid Game. I don't know Squid Game. But he put a nine over the seven. And I dropped broccoli on the floor. <laughs> I think people would ask for photos. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to find out. We're going to find out. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Hey, say what you will about the man. He's got a banger intro. Uh huh. Hey, y'all want to try to win a dollar real quick? Yeah, come through. How you doing? And doing editing. Well. Doing well. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. So I'm going around asking people if they can name a logo that I'm going to show you. And if you get it right, I'll give you one dollar. You want to try? Sure. Yeah. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. So for one dollar, what's this logo? Um, GeForce or GTX. What's the, what's the company name? Um, what, I mean, what's wrong with me? You're wrong. <laughs> I know I'm wrong. Do you know the company's name? No, I, can't, I don't. Do you know? What the fuck? You know G-Force? G-Force is the hard part. G-Force is the part we have to try and attach to help get the brand. You know G-Force and GTX, but you don't know NVIDIA. NVIDIA, G-Force, 2080, 3080. It's in every, whatever, all right, continue. 
You know what they make? Graphics cards. Do you use one? Yeah, uh, GTX 1060. Do you, you know that! But you don't know the company! Like it? Ah, uh, it works. <laughs> yeah, we'll put that on the box. We'll put that on the box. Thanks, ma'am. If you know anything about marketing, you know exactly what a good marketer needs to do. Exposure. That's why I'm live on twitch.tv slash afghans right now. Come through. Unless you're racist. <laughs> Have you heard of Wait. a... How do you know... <laughs> Wait. A now. <laughs> huh? Marketing. <laughs> Don't just say marketing. <laughs> Pause. Yo, what's up? <laughs> what's up, Atrioc? Boom! <laughs> Hello, Mr. Glizzy Hands. Thank you for not being racist. I am not hired by AMD. I can tell because your background is my workplace. <laughs> you turn that. Let me turn that Hello, down. You can Mr. hear yourself. Glizzy Hands. Thank you for not being racist. Okay, this is inception. <laughs> I've created <laughs> such a community here. <laughs> Why? <laughs> yeah, at least I'm not racist. You know what? At least I'm not racist. This is a big moment for me. Proof. Afghans. I can't believe. How did he know to be live? How did he know? I did this Reddit recap on a whim. This isn't even the normal day. New leech just dropped. We got to bump Phineas, Jay. <laughs> we got to bump Phineas. Phineas has got a full-time job as VOD guy now. We got we to gotta bump Phineas for Afghans, dude. I think we got we to gotta make room. <laughs> oh, Finn Bin dropped. Oh, let's watch the rest of this video. Come through, unless you're racist. Yeah, I'm not. I Have came through. Have you heard of a streamer named Atrock before? Atrock? I feel no. like I've heard it before, but I don't know. Yeah, okay. I For one dollar, you can all work together if you want. What's the name of this logo? <laughs> yeah, I have no idea. I'm gonna say Shopify, but I'm like, that's not. <laughs> Shopify? Have you heard Shopify? of Shopify? Yes. Okay, cool. Have you heard of somebody named Atrock? No. <laughs> you can't. <laughs> Not everyone who's heard of Twitch needs to have heard of me. This is not a rip bozo rest in piss you won't be remembered moment. I don't feel like I need to rest in piss because someone hasn't heard of me. I don't, I, that's not my requirement. Twitch has a lot of users. <laughs> I don't need them all to know of me. That's not my goal. <laughs> Well, if you don't know the name Atrock, can I like mention some of his nicknames? And then if you, if maybe one of them rings a bell, you can just let me. Obviously, that won't work, Afghans. Obviously, obviously, if they don't know Atrock, saying fucking Glizzy Hands is not going to be like, oh, oh, you mean GH? Oh, hell yeah, I watch Marketing Money all the time. No, shut the fuck up. Of course, it's not going to work. It's a waste of time, and it's embarrassing for me. Let me know. Okay. All right, cool. I'll just read off a couple of them. All right. Brandon, uh, Glizzy Hands, Atrioc. Have you heard of a Twitch streamer named Atrioc before? I have. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You said you were going to read off a couple of Atrioc's nicknames, and the two nicknames you read off are Glizzy Hands and then Atrioc again. And that was supposed to jog their memory. You have Glizzy sorry. Hands, Atrioc. Have you heard of a Twitch streamer named Atrioc before? I have. You have heard. Where is he? Are you in chat? Raise your hand if you're this guy on the left. Good hair, wearing a mask, COVID safe. Hey, salute, King. Thanks for, I'm glad I still got some uh, soldiers out at Momocon. <laughs> making a difference, making a change. I can't believe that you have so many alt accounts. That's crazy. I can't believe that half of my chat is just this one guy. You've heard of Atrioc? Yes. Oh my God, awesome. Um, what's this logo for a dollar? You already stumped me on the first one, man. <laughs> Ban everyone that said me. Ban everyone that said me in this whole fucking chat. 
Ban them all! We gotta, we gotta fucking purge to be sure. We gotta purge to be sure. <laughs> Just in case he isn't here. How the fuck? You heard of HROC and you don't know the NVIDIA logo. Bro, I fucking... I feel like every third stream I pull up the fucking chart and say NVIDIA is a fucking top 10 company worldwide. I'm gonna do it right now. In case you didn't know. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh no. No, they're not. No. Asset Dash, the website I used to use, became pay to win. And now it's like a crypto buying mobile app. Oh, now I have to find a new website to keep track of market caps. God damn it. God damn it. That's so sad. Is it anywhere? There's really no other spot to see it. God damn it. Well, anyway. Hi. Too difficult? <laughs> this is NVIDIA. Have you heard of NVIDIA? No, I haven't. <laughs> yeah, so understandable. Um, so you didn't know the NVIDIA logo, but do you know this logo by chance? Not. Oh my god. Yeah, I, I love AMD. If you could tell HR. Oh, I get it. No, I, I get it. <laughs> nice acting. Nice. Oh. We don't tolerate scripting unless it's my clips on this stream. We don't want to tolerate scripting. <laughs> yeah, fucking nice acting, dude. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, that's Andy. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. I <laughs> really? Oh my god. You're, you're so excited at the thought of seeing the logo that you gotta run your hands through your hair and say, oh my god. I love AMD. Did you? <laughs> yeah, man. You can tell Atriok one thing right now, since you know who Atriok is, what would you tell Atriok? Uh, man, get more clout. <laughs> uh, oh, hey, I didn't see you there. You know who does need to get more clout? That's right, twitch.tv slash avgans. Come on by so you- you, <laughs> you have two commercial breaks in your, in your four minute video. You have two commercial breaks for your stream, not just one. Can't let these corporations keep holding us down. Yo, 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 I heard you know how to freestyle. And eh, not really, but I can spit some rhymes. You wanna spit y'all. something? I can spit some rhymes. Okay. Okay. Look. Yo, nasty bitch. Mm -hmm. I'm out here playing ultimate. You know what it is. I can't freestyle. <laughs> I can't freestyle. <laughs> Literally best freestyler of the ultimate community. Actually the number one freestyler of the ultimate community. You could have a 700 man rap battle bracket in the ultimate community and that guy would come out on top easily. <laughs> that, guy, that guy would crush. <laughs> What's your cosplay? This is not a cosplay, it's an outfit. Oh, I'm gonna show you this logo if you get it right. One doll in your pocket, ready? Yeah. Okay, what is this logo? Oh, I, I don't know, it's an eye. <laughs> Come on, dream fan! Come on! You have the green dream hoodie! Green, dream, green, NVIDIA! Put it together! NVIDIA, have y'all heard of NVIDIA? Oh my god, I yeah. Yeah. Uh, Mustard Boy, Ewing, Grussler. Does it look familiar? No, I don't think I've seen it before, but um... So for one dollar, can you name me this logo? Uh, 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 none of them? Is that Razor? Okay. Do you know Is that Razor? Is that fucking Razor, bro? 
This logo oh, is? Hey. Oh, God, that one, that one does look familiar. That's that's a cool logo. I like that one a lot, though. You like this one? Yeah, that's a really cool logo. Do you like this one more than the other one? Yeah, in, in terms of, like, design, because, uh, yeah, I, have a, I actually have a bachelor's degree in... Uh... Oh, do you? Oh, I'd love to hear about it. Oh, please tell me more about your bachelor's in design. And we'll probably just change our logo because of your opinion. Thank you so much. Uh, graphic design. Uh, the second logo, I like a lot. Like, it's simplicity and, like, just the colors uh -huh. and everything. Oh, like, wow. Yeah, really wow. Cool. I like that one a lot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's AMD's lead designer. <laughs> Sorry, I, I can't say. It. <laughs> I love AMD. Wow, Afghans! What a video! What a video! Truly, it was filled with ups, downs, highs, and lows. Can't wait to see what's next from Afghans. I'm sure it'll feature a lot of plugs for his own stream. <laughs> uh, thank you for the video. That was funny. That was, and I'm, you know what? I'm just so glad it didn't take place at my workplace and didn't feature my fiance. <laughs> Actually a big, big progress. Big progress. <laughs> Uh, looking forward to 2022 predictions. Did I keep putting up 22 predictions? Be careful, little pops. Tesla pops this year, dude. Uh, I know I said it last year. I know I said it the year before that. But this year it's fucking done. This was Musk. a joke. You're going down, dude. There's no shot. I say it every Chinese year. Chinese Tesla. <laughs> It's a joke. Although, honestly, where are we at? I, not, not a bad start to the year. <laughs> not a bad start for 22. Hopefully we can keep this up. Keep this up, market. In fact, maybe let's put an early prediction. <laughs> this is the year. Tesla pops. Flower. My shit tastes. We already watched this one. Average Atrioc fan after smoking once. Uh, I'm not your. Wait, I'm sorry. Is this about me? No. This is. <laughs> this is a guy on Facebook that said. This is the what did you wear today? <laughs> Channel, fucking page. I'm not your average weed smoker. Heh. I've probably smoked at least 500 blunts in each of these three outfits featured here. Still not impressed? Heh. I have two other outfits not featured in this picture. <laughs> I like the Hez. I don't... <laughs> I don't know about this method of impressing people. 500 blunts per outfit. Was this average drug viewer? That's a grand total of 2,500 blunts. That's not. <laughs> no, it's not. Right? Oh, you're counting the two other outfits. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. It is. It's 2,500 blunts. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That is true. Man, this guy can fucking smoke. His mom taking the picture. Hey, she's impressed. She's proud. Easy 2,500 blunts. I forgot about the, the twist that he has two outfits not featured in the picture. Hmm. What is everyone in chat's BPO blunts per outfit? That's a great question. Mine's probably like a one. I don't, maybe less than one. I feel like most outfits I haven't smoked a blunt in. That would put me pretty low. Five BPO, 600 plus easy. Wow, that's degenerate. Why is he taller in the second pick? <laughs> I don't know, man. It's the magic of perspective. Maybe this is him growing up, you know? <laughs> Why is that 15 comments? What are the comments? Just has. <laughs> that's great. It's right after hanging out with DJ Wheat. I would have if he asked me to. 
I'm not watching. This is another fail. Okay, we can't have too many <laughs> fail clips. We want we can already. Um, it's doubly effective at changing the viewer ratio. Telling random girls to watch H Rock to increase the glizettes. Transitioning to a woman to increase the glizettes. This is the good picture. <laughs> It does it does reduce the male count by one and increase the female count by one. So it's it, it is two birds, one stone. Uh both of these pictures are bad. <laughs> and I think being part of the glizettes is bad, which is what you're trying to say. I think calling yourself a glizette is the real problem, and that's why it's either scary or also terrifying. Eyes rolled into the head. No, I don't hate female viewers. I just don't think that it's a good name. I think, in general, it might be an off-putting name to refer to female members of the community as glizettes. That's that's sort of where I stand. But who knows? Let's uh, let's find out. I guess. Evan Galclip, we watched that. We watched this. The Smoothie King strikes again. Man ruins his life over a smoothie. I didn't ruin my life. I. The thing about being the Smoothie King is that I only made my life better. Every smoothie I made not only increased my own health, wealth, and happiness, but everyone around me's life was benefit. Uh, people that shared in my smoothies had a delightful day. People who even watched me consume a smoothie were happier for having seen it. Being the Smoothie King is a, is a benefit to any workplace. And I hope you, wherever you work, can become a Smoothie Knight. A smoothie bishop, a smoothie prince of your own to help spread the good word. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Hilarious, unrelatable, big A meme. When I'm in a laugh at your own jokes competition and my opponent is Atrioc. <laughs> All right. I you know what? I find everyone's jokes funny, even your stupid one. <laughs> Piece of shit. <laughs> um a vid for Atrioc. Okay. One. That's so smooth on the ears. So smooth on the ears that microphone. Brandon Ewing Atrioc Lizzie Hands. Should finish Paper Mario by me, Gekka. Number one, it brings in viewers. It, it doesn't. As you can see by this graph, no. it is going sky high. <laughs> Number two, Mario is overcoming his enemy as the underdog, just like NVIDIA. Okay. <laughs> yep, cock. You spell NVIDIA wrong. Enough with marketing Mondays. Bring back Paper Mario Mondays. That was never. That was never Thank a day. <laughs> Sorry, what? Mondays. So, so. Uh, what's up? Uh, Thank. Powerful presentation. Powerful presentation. I gotta let you guys know that if I were to play Paper Mario, people would leave. We've tried it. We literally had, we literally had fucking ooms beg, day in and day out, Paper Mario for months. He made 50 plus memes about it on the Reddit. I finally play it. He doesn't show up that day. He's in chat every fucking day. Ask for Mario. I play it. He leaves. No, I'm not playing paper for fucking Mario. <laughs> no shot. Oh my God. I'm talking here. I'm talking here! <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry to spoil that clip. That is a funny one. New York Atrioc be like... <laughs> I'm talking here! I'm talking here! <laughs> That's good. Hey, I, hey, I appreciate good content when I see it. And that's good. I'm glad you found that, clipped it, downloaded it, <laughs> imported it into some fucking text editing thing. Added the copy, added the six emojis, and re-uploaded it. That is worth your time, worthwhile. Fire. A truck just woke up. Very, very fucking, very fucking tired. Smiling. Why you should go to prison as an entrepreneur? 
no cost of wait. I'm sorry. No cost of living, gym and rehab perks, surrounded by hustlers, taxes pay for you, time off from wife and kids to focus on the grind. Or it could be your partner. You could also go to jail. That's one thing that happens. Uh, taxes paying for you is kind of interesting. If I could find some way to keep my job and my stream from prison, it wouldn't change too much except the quality of my food would go down. And I could eat factor meals. <laughs> then I would be fucking set. And I get to keep my bed. And Ari gets to stay with me. And it's in my apartment. Then nothing would change. <laughs> <laughs> house arrest yeah 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 what i'm saying is if i was under house arrest my life would not change because i don't really have to fucking leave currently since nvidia is work from home and i do that all day and then i do streaming all night mm. yeah i just don't want to pay taxes that's it that's what i just don't want to do Thank you, mate. So stupid. Same guy, Gecko. Same guy. Is this Ooms 2.0? Yeah, those monkeys can dance, I'll tell you that. Uh wow, those are <laughs> impractical. <laughs> As cool as these shoes are, I'm not sure I would go running in them. But they are sick, I will say that. If you can watch Yu-Gi-Oh! on your shoe, that's that's worth the price of admission. Watch this. Uh, yeah, that, yeah, that's right. You canceled. play Sekiro, I'm going to play God of War. Uh, black hand, white hand, fist, and then we, we move on. So well said. Black hand, white hand, fist. I don't know what that means, but it's wise. It's like it's like the meme where they're they shaking hands. Yeah, midnight uh, has a literal well, which one whoa, of us is handshake. Black hand? Which one of okay, us? Okay, everyone black go to my situation. chat and write handshake with a capital H. I know, see what which I mean. one of us in this situation is black hand? I won. Do you know black people? <laughs> okay, black. You know stands. that, right? They call them blackface stands. All right. They've never called me that. They call me black soul stands <laughs> because I'm with the people. I'm for the people. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> I gotta go before I get canceled. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure that I was about to get canceled there. I think that was I think that was stands. I'm black soul stands because I'm for the people. Interesting. Interesting stands. Interesting. Who that way in? Uh all right. Please make a new thumbnail, I beg of you. Oh, then a file. <laughs> 300 gig Photoshop file. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Every single one of these thumbnails is the same file and they're all layered on top of each other. I wish I could see a 3D representation of the thousands and thousands and thousands of fucking <laughs> thumbnails all layered. It's so funny. I just never close Photoshop. I don't know. I don't know. It's open right now with the file. <laughs> If this gets 100 likes, I will make this into a shirt in my graphic design class. Too busy eating glizzy, and you stretched out the Genesis photo behind a A made out of hot dogs. And for that, I will hopefully get you to 99. If we all work together, we can downvote and save this man's life. Otto said he'd make it for me. Otto, I... <laughs> okay, sure. I think we could think of something more interesting to do. <laughs> but yeah, I'm down. I'll, I guess I'll do the file. <laughs> Glitter Kid in chat says, no matter what, I'm still making it. Great. Perfect. I feel sorry for your class. I feel sorry for your class. Um, okay, I think we're good. I think we're I think we're good. I think we're caught up. No, no, this is not. <laughs> this is not true. <laughs> this is inaccurate.
All right. Out of the water. We're caught, we're, caught we're, caught we're caught up. 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 Dude. Dude. We own this. You guys reading Dude? Now. Mm. There's a new Channel 5 video? Oh, shit. Right in my lap. Channel 5 News. Let me get water, though. You missed my post? Ista, what's your post? Wait, we got the Doinkler giving a post? Wait, let me watch the Doinkler's post. Mm -hmm. I built a life-size sculpture of Atrioc. What? The <laughs> I'm going to hope that you did it. I'm going to hope this is clickbait. But while I get water and be right back, we're going to find out. All right. All right, Doinkler. What do you got for me? You built a life-size sculpture of me. Well, then it must be six foot four and shredded. <laughs> Today, we're going to be building a life-size sculpture of Atrioc. Is what I would say if this wasn't a front to get your attention. Motherfucker! <laughs> because... My Reddit is literally pure fucking self promo now. Every fucking title is fake. The fucking acting's fake. It's all scripted. I'm getting all, I got reversed. I tried to farm out my fucking content to my viewers, and now they're farming me for free promo. Because Atrioc had me on stream and agreed to have me back to teach you guys how to pitch on Stream Sharks. Yesterday, I finished making the presentation and I was so pumped about it, I decided to make a hype video to share it with you guys. Which also means I'm not making an Atriox sculpture. That's dumb as fuck, I would never do that, but. Sorry for clickbaiting you guys. Well, in the end, I'm kind of relieved. <laughs> to be honest, the fact there's not a sculpture of me floating out there in the world is a win, I think, in my book. And to be honest, as much as I don't like being clickbaited, I'm actually kind of happy that this doesn't exist. <laughs> uh, I did get doinked on, though. Now, I can say this presentation is going to be awesome. Admittedly, I put in more effort than I should have, but and I want you to do well, so I kind of put my heart into this presentation. Which I guess is my personality type. I don't know, I, when I take on a project, I tend to go all in and give the highest level of detail and passion and- Sorry, what am I- <laughs> What am I looking at here, Dwinkler? You said you were clickbaiting me and you weren't gonna make anything and I just don't like what I'm seeing in your hand. I don't like this. I don't like the direction this is going. And heart and soul, which I guess makes me a perfectionist, but I guess it is what it is. Now, unfortunately, I don't know when it is. Our DMs between Atrioc and myself are more barren than the Mojave Desert. I mean, bro, you might be taking the nickname The Ghost a little too seriously. <laughs> In all seriousness, though, I actually don't mind. I really don't mind. I get it, you're busy. It's not a big deal. Right. Um, but I just want you to know, because you don't read your DMs, yeah. I am not available between these dates. Just want you to know, for the love of God, just don't announce and then have the stream sharks between- Holy fuck. Fuck, this is an old video. <laughs> Damn, I don't know want this this long. This was pre-December 30th. 
Oh, dear fucking God. Okay, well, I do have good news for you. <laughs> I spoke to Discord this week. We are definitely doing another Stream Sharks. <laughs> We're definitely doing another one. It's 100% happening. They've paid for it. I, I have to do it. Um, so let's talk in the DMs. I'll I'll hit you up. I'll hit you up. Um, ideally, when I'm at home with my parents, so I have a little more time. In that 10-day period. Because genuinely, I am very, very excited to give this presentation. And you should be too, because this presentation has that little Steven touch to it. Nice. Well, I hope you're as excited as I am, because I gotta say, I think I really outdid myself this time. I think I really did. I was thinking about doing a penis, but I thought it was a bit too, you know, yeah. edgy. Of course, of course that would be too edgy. It doesn't look so real, chat. Obviously, this does not look so real. <laughs> I, do, I mean, you know, he didn't use the big finger, which is good. I think that's more accurate. He does have sort of an imposing build. The craftsmanship. <laughs> yeah. Is that what you're impressed with? Is the craftsmanship? <laughs> anyway, hell yeah, we're doing it. Uh, it's still, I will, I will send you a DM. We'll plan it for, uh, I have to figure out what date stream sharks is and we'll give some head lead time, but. If you guys don't know, uh, Ista's going to do a, a funny and great presentation on how to pitch, which will be good for anyone wanting to get their game uh, idea uh, pitch ready for game stream sharks. We also have some pretty good guests for this next one, so it'll be good. Uh, Isto, thank you for the video. Thank you for the fine sculpture. Really, I can tell that your craftsmanship is unparalleled. I was thinking about doing a penis, but I thought it was a... Plus, I have duct tape. That actually holds my arms to my torso. I didn't know how you knew that. That's crazy. Uh, let me take some subs here real quick. Draper D, thank you for the prime. Uh, Spax, thank you for the prime. Dragon Crasher, thank you for the two months. Sevens for you. Afghans, thank you for the six months and for the hilarious video. Iron Mayhem, thank you for the two months. Uh, Thin Win, uh, thank you for the prime. Filthy Gino, Willis, Megatron John, Briwa. Look It's a Knee, Groovy Groves. Sorry, 17 months from Look It's a Knee. Thank you for that. Groovy Groves, thank you for the four. Masked Gamer, Wiggle Your Sushi, Awkward, Just the Lowly YouTube Frog Dropping His Monthly Prime. <laughs> Bro, you are... <laughs> the lowly person is the chatter. <laughs> the Twitch chatter. The YouTube Frog who loves the content, says only nice things, and drops him for the prime. So that's my fucking king. I raise you above me. You're my pedestal. <laughs> You're the Giga Chad. <laughs> you ever watched Lamino on YT? I don't, I don't know that I have, except for maybe in It Gets Smarter. People have said his name a lot. I know that for sure. Canadian, they were the four months. Wacky Wizard, David Keychain, uh, Quillo, Capo, Egg Banana Fart, Rufy, DMF, Mo Sticks, Not the President, Remy, Where's Fionn? Zeroism, Sunny 2P, thank you all for the for the primes and the subs. You Shame Family, thank you for the prime. Howie Disu, thank you for the prime. Taylor MG93, thank you for the prime. Tomio Kano, hey, I want to let you know that I yoinked your Gotcha Games video for a marketing assignment and got 100% on it for an upper dev marketing class. <laughs> That's shameless, but good shit, bro. <laughs> Actually, good shit. Good for you. Hey, I would have done that in college too, to be quite honest. Mm. Great artist steal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tell that to your teacher. 
Um, anything fun we should watch to close out the stream? Because that's the end of the Reddit recap. Thank you, Doinkler, for that video and really powerful. Oh, Channel 5. Channel 5! New Channel 5 video. Um... Let's see. This is from ComplexCon. It's a It's wavy, man. It's a vibe. I love the fact that like a lot of up-and-coming brands can connect with established brands and then um, sell products and pay their phone bill. Okay, what about the culture? Love the culture. The culture is the culture. The culture runs the world right now. I feel like you are the culture. In some ways, but being humble is also extremely the move right now. It bit me in the ass previously when I haven't been as humble, so I'm going to just humble it for the rest of my life now. How? People get um, intimidated by confidence and success. So help people and be humble, and then you'll survive this crazy world that is life. <laughs> Based. He spit all facts. Can't argue with that, King. Love the necklace too. Right. I love I, I love the awkward silence. If you when you get interviewed by a, a wavy production crew like yourself, you look create a lot of awkward silences so it exposes the real personality of individuals. I love that shit. <laughs> yep. It's fucking wavy. <laughs> Lamborghini lifestyle, baby. Money talk, baby. The homie Kanye just left. You know what it is with Drake. That's Aubrey to me. I'm on some Lamborghini shit. Lamborghini bitch. With the Lamborghini doors on the green, green whip. <laughs> People say we wouldn't be shit. Sheesh. You ever seen a Lambo bought with $20 in reparations? Oh, who ruled Lamborghini, baby? Goddamn, bye. What? Say goddamn, bye. Goddamn, bye. Goddamn, boy. That line long, boy. Goddamn, boy. Shit, boy. All right, went inside, right? God ain't got me awful lot of that, uh, that right there, right? Okay, got that on, right? Uh, and I put that on top of the, uh, yeah. So I was in there showing them all my spectacular drip. My man said, call my cellular device. So, bam. Hello. Say less. So, you know, got the wristband for my mans and then acquired uh -huh. that. Took uh -huh. that there. Put it on my neck. Right here. No man left behind. You feel me? Let go. My boy's a real one, bro. Goddamn, boy. It's a fellow friend of yours? That's a trapper, that's not my friend. Trappers are not <laughs> friends, they're associates and business partners. Okay, and sometimes co-defendants, but it's not if you can. Yes, yes, sir. That's what I say about stands. Bro, that is a streamer, that is not my friend. We are associates and business partners. And maybe co-defendants. You doing it right. Friends go funny, a trapper, he bought that money. <laughs> Goddamn, mm -hmm. boy. Sheet. God what are you damn. gonna do when you get back inside? Give me some food and give it to you. Cause you look hungry. <laughs> Goddamn, boy. Goddamn, I'm about to make him seasick. Watch out. Waves on deck. Wave check. Take your hat off. Let me see your waves. He ain't got none. <laughs> wave check. You hear that? That's the shore. That's like white noise right there. Look. Like, Shh. What they say? ASR, whatever that shit is, that acronym, y'all know what it is. I don't ASMR. know. I don't care. I don't watch it. Okay, so hat is fresh, New York, a visor, LA, shirt, bargain bin. Uh, these are like 10 <laughs> years old from <laughs> South Florida, and these are from LA. Shit! Oh, shit's dripped out. Thanks, bro. Shit! Uh, my name is Survivor Man, spelled like server, S E R V I D E R. Oh, shit, uh, dude. An on artist that's doing some. Fucking buy his look. Oh, my God. Where can I get this stuff? Holy fuck. Fuck! Literally flexing on the entire con. NFT stuff. It's the most you ever made off an NFT. I have a I have a V friend that I bought on the first day, so that's worth like ten ETH now. <laughs> How much money is that? <laughs> like forty thousand dollars. What the heck is an NFT? So an NFT is a non-fungible token, and it's basically a fancy word for digital art. And digital art is changing now because you can actually own it, and it's all about being written onto the blockchain. And so now digital art can live on permanently, forever. I don't know how saw the uh, dead pit million dollars, I swear to God. <laughs> really? I swear to God, bro, last week. You swear to God that you stole a, you sold a dick pic for a million dollars last week. Damn. You swear to God, though. And you own it in chat? You spent you a million on that? Phoenix Flexin, the NFT expert, sold a dick pic for a million dollars. That's crazy. That's a one of one. 
the homie hit for like a mil sum on a dick pic NFT. I don't know like the exact details of who he sent it or whatever, but yeah, he got a million dollars for a dick pic NFT. Who purchased the NFT? It's, I, don't, I don't know, anonymous, you know what I mean? Maybe it is, I don't know, he, maybe, he probably do know. For a million dollars, you gotta know who sold it, you know what I mean? NFTs and Gary V <laughs> counting cheese. Goddamn. I feel like I really wish I had gotten in on NFTs. You know, I wish I was an NFT, bro. It just looks so fun. It just looks like a lifestyle that I want to be a part of. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. You're watching Channel 5 Action News. We're here right now live at the Complex Con in Long Beach, California. We're going to talk to some artists, influencers, leaders, followers, networkers, marketers, rappers, fashion designers, fashion purchasers, producers, engineers, to figure out what the hell's going on and what's so complex about this con. Come on, guys. Let's go. I was on No Jumper for fucking 500 guys. No, 50 guys in one night. 500 total in my lifetime. Yeah. So for those who don't know, can you tell us your name and what you're doing out here? Hi, my name is Kazumi, and I am trying to pay rent um, by advertising my own fans. Um, you know, if you're comfortable selling your assets just like everything else, if you have those assets, sell it. How'd you get started doing fans? I used to have this slave in college that would, like, let me put stuff in his dick hole. <laughs> As most good stories start. As most good stories start, uh, I why do they bleep OnlyFans? Is it a branding thing? Like not to get free sponsorships or what? OnlyFans is not a, a banned word. <laughs> How much did he pay you? Um, it was three hundred at the time, but it was more of like an experience. So I just felt like this is my calling during COVID. You should do it. You should try it. Defense? Yeah, you probably look good. Okay, maybe <laughs> naked. What if you did that but naked? If I interview people <laughs> butt naked? Yeah, that could be kinky. But only for Patreon. <laughs> I'll subscribe. Hell yeah. Honestly, why can't sluts build the world? Hey yo, Channel 5. I'm over here at Complex Con, I'm barely alive. Trying to strive and prosper like ASAP. Where that AIDS at? Mm -hmm. I'm doing No Not November right now though. <laughs> I was watching, um. Uh, breastfeeding videos on YouTube. That's how bad it's gotten. How come you're doing No Nut November? It's a it's a big time suck, you know, because like <laughs> you're trying to figure out what video to watch, and then four <laughs> hours later, <laughs> 100 tabs open. You're like, all right. I used to be really strong with that shit. I used to only jerk off like once a week, but somewhere along the way, I kind of started slipping. I remember back in the day when I was at my horniest, I, I left like. Friday night church service, like the middle of worship. <laughs> I went to the um, bathroom and just <laughs> fucking, you know, just sprayed that whole toilet seat down. My name is I don't need to know that. I don't want to know that. And that's so fucking funny. That's so sacrilegious. If you believe in God, that's, that's so fucking bad. It's Tevin Bailey, Todd Bailey, we're the Bailey Twins. Bailey Twins. Bailey Twins. Are we taking over? I mean, yeah, we are. We're just not the clown. We're going to to catch up at this point. What's the biggest difference between y'all? Taste and female. I'm more on the thicker side, I would say. And he's more on the petite or slim thick. You know. No, I, hey, I'm going to throw it back. I'll catch I, I've seen him do a throw lot. Back. I'll catch you. With some thickness, <laughs> dog. Not, What's up, dude? What's good, G? How are you doing? This is my twin Tevin right here, right? All right. Honestly, well, I'll just finish this one over here since he just left me over there, guys. But uh, yeah, any other questions you got? I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Uh, mad gummies. What are we talking about up here? What? Hold on, man. Stay in your interview, whoa. dog. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stay whoa. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. in your interview. Stay in your interview. Whoa, whoa. Okay, I'll talk. All right. So anyway, so I don't know what you want to talk about. But anyway, I was saying, so we came to the mountains, came to the mountains. So rude, but I was on the shoes, how nice these were. I'm going to get the high tops tomorrow. Them sleeves is even crazier. The ones with the teeth. Four eyes, teeth, a nose. I don't actually know what you're talking about, but I hope you get the high tops This right here, I would wear. And now I'm 25, and I would still wear this. That's creativity. When I first saw it, my childhood came back to me, you know? So I'm a kid again, you know? I got that toy the rest <laughs> Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What does it mean to drip? This right here? You see that? What is drip, though? Work uniform, right? But would you wear this to work? Or the way I, the whole style, the whole, this, the vibe of it all, would you show it to work like this? You work at 7-Eleven? I don't. I'm a model, actor, creative with my twin right here. What's up, Doc? What's up? <laughs> I don't know, you just sound like you got a lot of information. Well, I'm sorry, what? Man, that was, that was overwhelming. That was a classic mental DDoS. I felt like I was, <laughs> I felt like I was getting hit with so much information. He doesn't work at 7-Eleven, but he's wearing 7-Eleven clothes. The knowledge. Uh, I got a few things. I can tell you this: everything that's going on, both politically, globally, is all planned. 
Thank you, bro. I appreciate it. Have a good one, dude. Right, Thank you. <laughs> My wife. <laughs> oh, shit. Can you tell us about your face mask? She got it for me. And uh, <laughs> Why yeah, this music? I like it. I, uh, Why I this like music? It. I got two masks today. But uh, this one's my, this one's getting more. Uh, the men like it more than the girls do. Why'd you get that for him? Why not? <laughs> Was it sort of like you're not really doing this enough? Like, <laughs> I'm gonna get this for you so that every time you see yourself in the mirror, you're like thinking about the fact that you need to do that more often. No, I'm like he's so good at it. I'm like I want everyone to like try it. Like go. Like I say, baby, go. Hit what? <laughs> like having girls sit on his face. You know, I just I. I I, I give it TLC, you know, that tender <laughs> love and care. Shut up! Do you apply that elsewhere in your life? Shut like, up! Do you have a business or like a passion? Change the music! No business. Uh, passion. Yeah, no, I'd say that's my passion. Yeah, that's good. I'd always say, sit on my, come sit on my face, baby. <laughs> I see you also have an interesting shirt. Yeah. Who's that? <laughs> Who's that? This is, uh, this is from, this is some Russian lady, yeah. She paints, water, like, erotic water patterns. <laughs> up? Sit on my face! <laughs> How do you feel what the fuck is up? Sit on my face! How do you feel about eating pussy? <laughs> what? Dude, you're laughing. Sit on my face! <laughs> I think that maybe he saw your mask and he thought that, you know, maybe he, he could be one of the people that... I mean, if he has a pussy, yeah. But my passion is pussy, not oh! pussy eating. Ass eating or whatever the fuck oh! he has. Uh, but I respect the fucking shit out of you. What's your name? Nate. Do you have any nicknames? Uh, no. Do you want one? Sure. Nate Doug. Cool. Do you have any money? <laughs> yeah. How much? Not a lot. Like, how much are we talking? Like, 150. How much are the Kerwin shoes? I think, like, 180. So you gotta get 30 more bucks? Mm hmm. What's the plan? <laughs> uh, try to get 30 more bucks. Do you have any strategy for that? Uh, not really. What's your cash app? I don't have one. I have Venmo, though. What grade are you in? Uh, 12th. You almost made it? Mm-hmm. You thinking you're gonna go to college or what? Uh, I'm gonna do a gap year. Are you gonna go to Europe? No. Thailand? No. You're gonna get an apartment <laughs> in downtown LA and just smoke hella weed? Uh, yeah. Seriously? <laughs> sure. What's your budget for an apartment? I don't know. Okay, man, well, you have a bright future. <laughs> Shout out Nate Dog. I'll see you in there, bro. Yeah, so Silky basically is a part of our brand. Uh, it is basically an emotional support hey, companion on, almost. <laughs> Future president, Nate Dog, God willing, I'd vote for him. I'd vote for him. He keeps it real. Tells it like it is. Do they come in like different ages? Ages, sizes, skin color, different tones, different flavors, uh, different genitals. He, she, they, their, uh, um, uh, because. We're also going to be doing ones that are uh, in wheelchairs, small people. We're doing animals. We're doing a whole silky universe. It is actually an emotional companion. It's an emotional spirit. <laughs> this is capitalism. <laughs> this is brands getting excited, thinking about their next commercial. <laughs> if we say all this, we can sell it to you. If we just say, we list off everything we're sure to be considered woke. It's there to actually uplift your emotional intelligence. Yeah, yeah, really and truly. We're making history and her story. <laughs> nice. Bro, that guy could get a job at a Fortune 500 fucking branding agency. <laughs> Easy, that, that, easily. So uh, what's going on right here? We got a rainbow. We got a creature. You wanna sit down or something? Back here, back here, back here. Okay. I'm not gonna lie, I'm feeling really loved right here. Well, you are very loved right here. <laughs> Sorry. Yo, would you get in a creature suit if I have a whole creature suit? Yeah, I would do that. <laughs> I got too much fucking shit on me. <laughs> I'm a silky now. You're a silky? Yes. You're just a blue monster, that's what you are. I'm here to fuck silkies. <laughs> I have an inquiry. When you use the bathroom, are your bowels blue? Nah. Well. What's up, what's your name? Kevin Bradford. Uh, what are you doing here today? I'm promoting Father Steve. Okay, what's he do? 
We're, we're selling loot boxes. We have mice. We we have the trading card you game. Say we loot have, boxes. We have every we have everything here. I, I saw like like this weird stand with like dinosaurs with like butterflies on it. I thought it was kind of weird, but uh, I didn't think it was bad. I just thought it was weird. I absolutely love it. Seeing all the brands, uh, taking pictures with people, uh, pr promoting myself too. Sounds like you're uh, you're going up. Your clouds going up. Um, I actually uh, was on a documentary uh, called Tallest Teens. And, uh, Wait, what? I'm seven foot two. I'm the Guinness World Record Holy holder for shit. tallest teenager in 2016. What if your dream of slam dunking as a pro? I do believe that I have the potential to be in the NBA. Hey, Could homies are here. We just get a raid. Shout out to the homies that showed up. Afghans, thank you for the, for the viewers. Thank you for the raid. And thank you for the video earlier. Afghans, thank you for not showing up in my actual workplace. <laughs> Appreciate it. If you continue to grow, I actually have back problems because I'm this height. Yeah, I saw the basketball court, but uh, I'm trying to stay as far away from that as possible. That's just not my uh, that's not my style. But did you know if you like make the basket, like you'll make like 20k. 20k. <laughs> uh, I'm feeling kind of nervous. <laughs> I believe in you, bro. I think you, I think you're gonna do great. I know. I'm wearing a suit, so I can't really extend my arms that far. So I don't know. Oh shit. <laughs> He's so tall. Wait, you still have to hit the shot though. That's not. No! <laughs> Thank you. They gave me toilet paper to wipe my ass. Yo, so uh, this nice Ferris Hill, Ferris wheel uh, cannot be ridden by nobody. The old man will not let me ride it, nor anybody. What's it's the just point? for show. <laughs> oh, good. Real life squid game. <laughs> hey, what are you in line for right now? In line? I believe Mac DeMarco. The Mac DeMarco is performing in this cardboard castle? I don't have no idea. That's what I was told, so that's what I'm doing. What if he's not? Then uh, we'll see what happens, honestly. <laughs> What's her name? Good Mac attitude. Joe. Go out here for this? Yeah, pretty much. Me and me and the homie did. Oh, nice. Oh man, how you doing in school right now? I was doing pretty solid in class, and then after the switch to online, I feel like it's just harder and different. You're not cheating. I mean, everybody's the cheating, bro. Amount, <laughs> like on homework. <laughs> yeah, yeah Satch Farmer, but actually true. Let's get see what we find. I've been doing this for about like, I don't know, 12 years now. So I feel a bit old. I feel a bit like an uncle now. You know what I'm saying? Feels good. It's also a bit depressing. I'm a lot older than I used to be. But also younger than I will be soon. That's why I love Maximus. He's so philosophical. Who's that? I don't know. <laughs> love love the like like flower. flower. Okay, yeah, that was a good one to get. <laughs> Guitar time? Let it go. Let it go. You just sick artist? All right, cool. I guess he was there for me. No, no, no. It's not that vibe. It's not, it's not the vibe. <laughs> hey, what's up, Kerwin? Pretty good, pretty good. I'm sorry about earlier. How you doing, though? I'm actually doing great. I found this job <laughs> on Craigslist. Keep it 100 with you. Uh, I'm not Kerwin Frost, as you can see. Uh, but I'm grateful for the opportunity. This suit is hot as fuck. Jesus walked on water so I could drip on you niggas. Pay got washed on water while me drip, pussy nigga. Jesus walked on water so I could drip on these niggas. I love Channel 5, man. I watch y'all all the time. Shouts out Channel 5. We innovators. We start stuff. We don't follow shit. That's why we're leaders. I own a, I own a company called Fuck You Want right now. Me and my brother started that. We're about to get sent to Virginia. We're about to get sent to the Navy. You feel me? And when I was out there, we started about the company. Now we're a million dollar company. I'm doing that <laughs> shit. I don't give a fuck about the cloud. Everything we're doing, I'm living it. And that's it. Hey, yo, have you seen this hair design everywhere? Have you seen it on the internet, though? Ask everybody where they got that shit from. Tell them where it started. They're going to look at me. You heard? I like the hair. The hair looks sick. Oh, thank you, bro. Yeah, I appreciate it. It used to be purple. Okay, that's hard. Oh, where'd you get the idea for it? For the hair? Um, I don't, it was just Halloween. <laughs> so yeah, we met some dude who said he invented a spider web. 
<laughs> oh, I know what you're talking about. I had a TikTok that blew up about my hair, and he's like, oh, this kid's a pussy. No way. I was like, I, I don't know, he's hard. They don't own that shit, but yeah, no, it's hard. My friend called me the albino Dennis Rodman. Can you ball? Uh, not really. I'm working on a basketball court in uh, St. Louis. Oh, for real? Oh, I love basketball. That's a sick shirt. Where'd you uh, Where'd you get it from? My friend Austin. Ass Pizza. Ass Pizza? Yo, yeah, yeah. Uh, Ass Pizza? Uh, Ass Pizza. He's dope. The brand name is Ass Pizza. I think like he just fucking just put it together some shit like that, right? So. Do you like Ass Pizza? Mm-hmm. You give him a shout out. Shout out Ass Pizza. Who's Ass Pizza? I don't know. <laughs> You just heard of him. I don't know why you wasting your energy getting mad. I like that guy. I just finished eating. About to get some head relax. He took a trip to the woods near the farm. Where I'm humping my chick outside. Getting mosquito bits on my arm. My name is Austin. People know me as Ass Pizza. Uh, I make clothes. What are they? Bro, I feel like me and Stan should go to this. We should go to Complex Con next year. Just me and Stan. <laughs> In like a button downs. <laughs> <laughs> just walk around, you know, make some friends, kick some freestyles. They call you Ass Pizza. That's just uh, my Instagram name that I had for a long time, and now I'm just stuck with it for life. I don't like to associate it with pizza or ass. You don't like pizza? Pizza's delicious. Do you like ass? Yeah, I love ass. <laughs> Can you tell us about your, your face tattoo? You know, one day I just said, fuck it, man, I'm gonna get the face tattoo. I didn't really think about it. I was at a point where I was just like, fuck it, man, you know? And it just, like, didn't feel part of this world, so I was like, I'll just get a face tattoo, you know? And I told my mom that it was temporary. The craziest thing I ever done was not pull out. Do you have a child? <laughs> Did they ask? <laughs> Congratulations. That's hard, bro. I go by Holy Barber, if anybody wants to follow me on Instagram. Yeah, it's like, I wouldn't tell anyone to go get a fucking face tattoo, you know? It's just like... Someone saying the craziest thing I ever did was not pull out and I'm about to have a child and you going, that's hard, bro. <laughs> Nobody asked. That's hard. Oh, that's hard. That's hard as hell. I feel like nowadays, like, you can still get a job and shit, you know, like, I feel like no one actually really fucking cares about it, so. All right, yeah. I got to handle something later, but uh, it's fine. What's going on? Just this guy talking shit, man. You know, I deal with haters every day, but it just... Fuck it. I understand, bro, you know? I know that I started a lot of this shit, you know? But I'm just a humble, nice guy, you know? <laughs> I really don't give you a know? fuck about it. <laughs> Wait, really? Those guys got security? They're just sort of like willing to sacrifice Ass themselves pizza's and well known? everyone around Shit. them to get close to people like you. How does that make you feel? It's just like, you know, once you get here, man, it's like, that's it, you know? It's not what you think, man. You know, I just <laughs> like cool shit, man, and it's like, I feel like I know what's cool, you know? And it's like, what I want to see. Me and my friends, you know, I'm very grateful to have all my friends who also, like, you know, are on the same wavelength, you know? like. I fuck with real shit, but I feel like everything is just so fake and like generic and like they're just trying to pizza. market this shit to like. Well, nothing know, wrong with marketing though. I don't know, it's just some fake bullshit, man. Nothing wrong with marketing though. I fuck though, with Kerwin right? shit and Steve shit, you know, everything else. They're trying to make a quick buck, you know. At what point do you think a brand goes from being like authentic and cool to like corny? Like, what is that turnover point? It all just comes when like you stop thinking about like what you want to bring into the world instead of like, oh, what's gonna make the money, you know. If you're like making sick shit, like the money's gonna come no matter what. So it's like, you can't stress over it, you know? I don't know, I just feel like people try way too hard and they just want fast shit. They're not thinking long term, you know? They're like, Trump. oh, what's popping now? Let's copy this guy and then sell this, blah, blah, blah. It'll run you straight to the ground, man. Tell him that's pizza. Ever offered you like a major brand deal, like a Zoomies mall style thing? Yeah, there was a, you know, a lot of shoe brands wanting to work with me and shit. It's just like, 
first of all, there's always one person who's scared and nervous and doesn't understand it, so I can't fully do what I want. I don't know. They just complicate shit trying to work with people. And what I really want to show to kids... I can't imagine being in like a... <laughs> a corporate marketing meeting trying to get through the idea that let's partner with this guy, Ass Pizza. That just sounds so difficult. It's hard enough to like... You know, like if you wanted to partner with a, with like even, even a normal influencer, like let's partner with Pokemon or something like just getting the budget to get that stuff through is hard. <laughs> let's collab with ass pizza. That's a tough one. That's a tough sell. So like you don't need anyone to help you really like. It's interesting what you said about like longevity, right? Like no matter what you do, someone's going to imitate you. If you come out with something authentic, there's going to be people who make actually successful Companies, successful media companies, successful clothing companies, copying your exact style. Yeah, I see. I see a lot of people copying me. You know, I just keep my mouth shut because it's like that's my goal. I'm really trying to just inspire people. So fuck it, it's gonna happen. You know, and it's like once you start calling people out, you just look like a loser. All I'll say about this guy's, uh, you know, I like where his head's at, <laughs> but a lot of people say this stuff on the come up. You know, they they say it's about the heart, it's about the art, it's about and then when your ideas aren't hitting so much and you're not as <laughs> you're not as popular as you were and you have a chance to cash out with a big brand a lot of people <laughs> start reevaluating what they said before loser so i know my influence so i'm going to just keep going and just like you know i must be on some shit so everyone's copying me so you know whatever People are gonna copy you, you know? They're on some loser shit. I peep it, bro. I know who's copying you. Has he done They're any NFTs? Exploit New York. Fuck them, bro. Fuck them. Who are you talking about? You know who I'm talking about, bro. We don't even gotta say their name. How did you react when you first saw someone just copying your shit? You know, it's cool. It's cool. We're influencers, man. <laughs> We're influencers, bro. <laughs> That's where we get free shit for, man. Free sandwiches, right? That's why we get free sandwiches. <laughs> Lions mm -hmm. don't concern themselves with uh you gotta wake up and stay hungry like a fucking tiger every day bro an army of sheep led by a lion will destroy an army of lions led by a sheep the leader damn. is the most important thing damn. how do you feel about people stealing your haircut style damn i don't care as long as as long as i do my best that's what matters tommy Wright the third 10 wanted me into the world in street smart delighted part devil don tom internet icon so back in the old music you talk a lot about the devil and Satan, how many people were like really worshiping the devil associated with Memphis music at that time? It's like a lot, of, it's not devil worshiping, but it's a lot of evil shit. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of evil spirits, cutthroat city, cutthroat mentality. That's what Memphis is about. How did Memphis change like from that old school style to what it is now? Because if you think about like Memphis new artists, right? Like Push Tiesty and Ellie Chaba, it's more like Atlanta sound, like modern trap. Like when did the uh, like, 3-6, Tommy Wright, shit kind of like transition. A little bit. Yeah, this guy knows his hip hop. After the 2000s, it's kind of when Atlanta started to, you know, mimic our sound, you know, a lot of shit started to change. And then our city just tried to be more, you know, universal with their sound. You had that crazy peak in the 90s, but it now it seems like your, your career is bigger than ever right now. Like you have more fans than of all time. How did that happen? Like how did you pop off like 10 or 15 years after the songs first came out? Let's say what it is, man. Soundtracks and new rappers wanting to sample. Like your shows in New Orleans is like 150 skaters, all that shit, like moshing. Did you, did you ever imagine when you first made those songs back in the day that that was? Uh, you know, nah, you know, I, I never thought that. But you know what? Gangsta walking is a lot like moshing, and that's what we do. Because we got that same energy, that same shit, <laughs> that same pushing. We did that shit without a skateboard. <laughs> My name's Guabdad4000, I'm a fan of yours. Oh, hell yeah, we just watched some shit that you did, and OGZ was in it. Yeah. I was on my ass laughing the whole time. He's queuing on. And you niggas is hilarious, yeah. and this suit is crazy. <laughs> Do you wear a bass suit on purpose? Uh, yeah, <laughs> I figured. Where you get it from? Goodwill. I figured. You gotta watch out for mothballs, man. Mothballs? Mm -hmm. They be doing, they be using them in Goodwill, for real. Yeah. <laughs> Why is it dangerous to have mothballs in your clothes? I said just watch out for him. I didn't necessarily merit any danger. I'm sorry if you felt that from my tone, King. Am I being too aggressive? No, I don't think so. Damn it, Quarks. Stop doing that. 
Did you cop any cops today? <laughs> um, what did I actually spend money on? Odie, oh, I bought some shoes. I like your music. Thank you. I like my music too. I like your music. I like your confidence. I like your creativity from without the music. I follow your stuff. Thank you. It's it's ill. What's your name, dog? Kosha Dills. Tight. I'm running a marathon tomorrow. Oh, that's why you got the whole shit going on. <laughs> well, is it a purpose? Um, I'm coming off of a, a big run off a of rapping with Fat Joe in a rainstorm, and I felt that oh, internet. Oh, nigga, I've been seeing you. <laughs> I've been seeing you. I damn near follow you. <laughs> nigga, you still got the umbrella? <laughs> Well, that's kind of weird. <laughs> Check it out, all right. Beatbox, rap, and fly like I have to, guy. I use five hands on my finger, channel five. Do you know my rap flow? Do you know why I'm holding umbrella? It's me mimicking what happened last week at MSG with Fat Joe. I was rapping in a rainstorm. He's like, hey, bro, can I rap with you? I'm like, okay, dog, but you need an umbrella because you don't want to get real wet. I used to have hair on my head. It was impossible. Back in the day, they fill the microphone with follicles. I do it on the okay. fast track, right through the past track. And other people say, yeah, what's the cash app? So send money now. And don't act so funny now And Channel 5 I hope you guys like my fucking style And if you don't have any money to borrow Send a cash app to someone else And I'll see you guys tomorrow Cash app The best <laughs> subject to incorporate Into your freestyle rhyme scheme uh -huh. To impress people who went to the Complex Con Last, a few months ago uh, Use code Channel 5 For a free $15 for new users I gotta have uh, my wow. I'm gonna listen to your music while I run Put you on my marathon playlist Thank you How many miles is the total marathon? 26.2 Why would So But you still ain't said why I think I think You need to have Certain different kinds of music Like in the beginning You don't want to be too no, guys about music. Why is you running <laughs> Why are you running miles, Yeah man? Why are you running the marathon I love, I love running man It's like a journey in life so Life is a marathon you need 26 miles of it Yeah you need more really Seems I was, a little bit excessive <laughs> Channel 5 Love y'all I like this guy, he's funny. I haven't seen this man in probably four music. years. Four years. But old friends like, been a minute. Wop Dad 4000? He's in the fucking house. We, we go way back with a guy named Tom Catchinson. Tom Catchinson? Yes. Wop Dad 4000, I'll check him out. Uh, me and Tom Catchinson uh, played on the high school soccer team, as I think. He I rapped think with J. Cole he, we and went J.I.D.? I'll school definitely together. check and, him out. And Herbert Hoover Middle School. M me and Tom, uh, we, went, we went to a, uh, a rock concert. 311. Yeah, 311. Remember Amber? Amber is the color of your inner dream. The earth isn't flat, but it's hollow. And inside the hollow earth, there's like giant octopus. I believe that there's water above and below us, and it's sorry, giant what? octopus. I believe in that shit. How'd you learn about the octopus in the earth? I was on acid one day, and I thought about <laughs> it, and I was like, if you watch The Matrix, the robots is octopus. And then I realized that the earth is more water than anything. How can we get in touch with the octopuses? You just gotta use your third eye uh -huh. and meditate. Uh huh. Um, I, t I tell you, don't minute. get the vaccine because <laughs> it makes it harder to talk. <laughs> Damn. Damn, I was really on board with you for a second, man. The octopus thing, opening my third eye. Fuck! I already got the vaccine, so now I can't talk to the octopus. Damn, he really came in with the talk to the octopus. <laughs> Good one. Uh. <laughs> Cuts there. Uh, that's funny. That's funny. That's funny. <laughs> Third eye perma closed. I know. I really I'm starting to regret this whole double vax thing. There's water above us and below us. There's an octopus inside the earth and above us. Uh, wild video. I did. I've never heard of Complex Con. I know Complex, but I didn't know they had their own con, and I didn't know it was like that. Uh, chat. That's the end of the stream. I have to go pack. I have to pack for my flight tomorrow. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the hitman. I hope you enjoyed the Reddit recap. I hope you enjoyed the uh, the the viewing. Um, I won't be seeing you for a little bit. All right. You have to be strong. Uh, we'll be back on ideally Monday with a big old marketing Monday. Hit the hit the week hard. Um, YouTube should still be live every day during the break. And I hope you guys have a great weekend. It'll be a fantastic, fun weekend. I hope it's good. I hope things go right for you. I hope you get some good news. 
Hope uh, you don't got a fuck ton of homework or something due Monday, so your Sunday's ruined. God, I hate that. <laughs> That's also with work and with Marketing Monday. I hate when you can't enjoy Sunday at all because it's got this cloud hanging over you all fucking day. It could even bleed into Saturday. Anyway, I hope you don't have that. I guess just try and do it early. <laughs> I've never done this, but try and do it early, and then you'll have a fucking better weekend. Um, I'm going to raid somebody. And we'll be back. Wish me uh, a happy trip, and hopefully I see uh, hopefully my family, and I have a good uh, good weekend. Bro. Bro, I, literally, I'm trying to fucking... Uh, who do we want to raid? Let's raid... Um, we could raid EE, we could raid Mango, we could raid Small Ants. Is Dream live? Wow, we should probably we should probably raid Dream. Let's raid Dream. <laughs> he needs it. He needs it. Dream needs this. Dream was taken. Yes, guys, please. Hey, this is important. I like to help out my friends, okay? My close personal friends. Please go stop over and dream. Just say hi. Pop in. We've collabed. He'll remember me. We've collabed, okay? And uh, <laughs> and have a good one. Have a good weekend. Thanks for watching. Bye, everybody. Adios.